There is no other place in the world like our city. We're unique, vibrant, and a little unexpected. We're so much more than sand, surf, and sports. We're for telling local tales, unearthing hidden gems, and sharing the stories of spectacular people. As a young city in transformation, the best is yet to come. We are Gold Coast. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to uh, Club Helensvale for the finals of the uh, state ladies and men's mixed pairs. And with me this afternoon is Michael Keegan. Good afternoon. How are you, mate? Very well, thanks, Michael. Yeah, that's good. And the matchups here today, and the ladies and the men, and also the over sixties. We've got some exciting games coming up. Yeah, look, there were some tremendous games there in the semi-finals. A um, couple of them just coming down to the wire. Uh, but there's some uh, real talent are hitting the greens this afternoon and everyone's in for a, uh, a real showing here. Absolutely, Michael. I couldn't agree more. Like, and uh, the match-ups, uh, your good wife, is, uh, you've got to commentate on that, so you better be careful what you say this afternoon, my friend, otherwise you might not get dinner tonight. Uh, well, I do all the cooking, as everyone knows anyway, <laughs> so uh, that's probably why I put so much uh, around the girth. But um, uh, there's other things that Julie does well, and one of them's lawn bowling. So, <laughs> that's uh, so true. Let's hope she has a great game this afternoon. It's a good match-up. That's for sure. And you've got the teams there, so we can tell all our viewers out there. Yeah, look, I'll, uh, I'll start with the over-60s first. Uh, we'll run through those and then uh, on to uh, onto the uh, open draw. But the uh, over-60s, uh, you've got... Bryce Stewart um, and Kevin Deegan with uh, Wayne. Can't read really well, We got. Um, who is it? Uh, yes, very hard. Pet Petropolis. Petropolis. Wayne Petropolis yeah, yeah. should be uh, should be a great. Play. Those guys just played incredibly in that last game. There, uh, Michael. They really did. Yeah, well, you've got Brendan Thompson, Brenda Thompson, which is a former Australian player, playing with uh, Louise Whitten, which uh, we all know Louise. She's played uh, skip there for Queensland for numerous years and uh, is still an extremely competitive player. Uh, Brenda's just come back into the fold the last couple of years after having a bit of an injury. So they've got a great game out there against uh, Ramsey and O'Connor, so uh, I expect that to be an absolute cracker. And in the other draw, uh, we'll go through the ladies first. Well, of course, you've mentioned Julie. She's playing with the uh, New Zealand international, Caitlin Inch. And Caitlin, I think, you, Michael, is the current uh, New Z uh, Queensland singles champion, if I remember correctly. Uh, yes, Caitlin won the singles down at Tweed Heads um, last year. I think you'll find that, um, no, the year before. Oh, the year last, before, last year, um, um, Chloe? Yeah, I think it was Chloe too, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah was the year before. Too. Yeah, yeah. So Chloe uh, uh, won that last year, and as well as the mixed pairs, and um, just got beaten by one shot by Julie and uh, Caitlin in that last game with um, young Jess Alphabet up front, which uh, was a tremendous game. It was yeah. a real cracker. Absolutely. Now they're they're out there playing um, against uh, Heather Hudson and Wendy Usher. Uh, they had a great game over a couple of uh, Broadbeach players as well. Um, one's um, actually just they've just started playing for the club. Um, one's a New Zealander, and one's a Canadian. So it's been a real international affair. Mate, it's great to see uh, two long bowlers with bowling arms out there in the in the final at the state um, open pairs, mate. So it just goes to show you that these people and uh, I know you know too, Michael. I mean, a lot of people call these things uh, cheating sticks, but mate, these, <laughs> it takes a lot to to be able to combat using one. It's not as though it's. Uh, it's a five-minute job just buying one and having an unfair advantage. So it's just absolutely fantastic to have uh, these girls showing us their uh, talents this afternoon. Yeah, well, that, that rule's just been opened up to uh, all bowlers. So yeah. anyone that thinks they're a cheating stick can go and spend their three or $400, uh, get out there, buy one, and spend the next six months trying to learn, learning to use, to use it. Um, so uh, if that's the case, well, you know, don't put your money where your mouth is and go out and compete with it. But... Uh, yeah, it's open to all events and open to anybody to use them now. Yeah, no, that's good. And ladies and gentlemen, I'll let you in on a little secret. We've got a special guest commentator this afternoon to, oh. uh, to do a bit of work with Michael. And I'm going to get her in right now. And um, oh, I can, I can, I've just seen who's come across. It's the, uh, going to be some great commentary here with you two. The banter should be great. So uh, I'll let you introduce the person. 
Okay, I'll do that, yeah. I'll tell you what, um, if only there was a camera on us, we uh, have gone up a grade in the, the looks department. Um, we've got uh, the ever-present and one of the best bowlers uh, ever to hit the green. Hello. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, I think everyone will recognise the voice. I don't think I'll even introduce you. What do you think? I think everyone knows that voice, Kels. Oh, I've given it away. All right, we'll just turn you up. There we go. There you go. Yep. Right, can you? All right. I'm, I'm sure your better half wants one of those buttons. <laughs> to turn me off. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, would you? <laughs> All right. Well, we've just introduced the teams here, Kels, and, um, and given a little bit of commentary on it. It'd be great to get an insight into uh, what you think the matchup is. Well, let's start with the men's, with um, Brian Bester and Kevin Anderson against... Uh, Jados and the Sean Baker, the current uh, running champions. Yeah, look, it's a pretty exciting matchup. I think um, there'll be a lot of people tuning in for this one. Um, I didn't actually get here in time to catch the end of the semi final, so they both won pretty convincingly. So, obviously, in some pretty good form as well. Um, yeah, it'll be an interesting little matchup. Uh, and we've got the girls on camera here. So, uh, we've got, uh, as we mentioned, uh, a couple of girls using the, uh, the bowling arm, which is uh, a new rule that's just been changed. So, it's, it's up for anyone to use it. Yeah, yeah. So I saw um, Heather and Wendy at Marimbula, Marimbula last year. So they won the state fours last year and then headed off to Marimbula to represent Queensland at the Australian Championship. So I got to catch the catch a bit of them there. And I think I only just missed making the final from memory. They were, they were right up there. So um, they did really well. And then, of course, playing against Caitlin and Jules, um, who you've watched a fair bit over the years. And they've been playing together for a while now. Probably, oh, I mean, how long has Caitlin been in Australia for? They've pretty much teamed up. Yeah, um, um, as soon as she moved over. Yeah, uh, they turned up. Um, Jessie Cattell was uh, was playing with Julie a lot, and we all know Jessie's a sensational player, um, great lead, and they went and won a few titles. And then uh, Jess done the movement up to uh, your club up here at uh, yep. Club Helensvale, and uh, Caitlin Inch um, grabbed the slot. So it's uh, they've been very uh, competitive as a pair there, and uh, enjoy each other's game. Yeah, well, that's right. I suppose if they play a lot together at Broadbeach and all their championships, and then is it your district championships up here, you've got to play with your own club members. So if they play a lot in that sort of stuff, and then the state championships here, you can play with anyone, but you may as well go in with someone that you know pretty well and someone that you've got the wins on the board with, which is what these two have done. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just one of those things. Um, Julie's always likes to play with a club member, so uh, she's sort of stuck with that. And uh, it, they do play well together. They uh, We call Caitlin our uh, New Zealand daughter, so... Uh, we're always very keen to see how she performs and goes, and she's been performing pretty well. So it's it's going to be interesting. I, I thought Julie might even grab one of those sticks to go out and play with. She's uh, she's been had a back problem now for about four weeks, so she's been struggling a bit. Uh, maybe, maybe we might have to buy one for her. Well, see how these ladies start. Heather and Wendy, they start pretty well. Yeah, no, no, they go well. They've, they've spent plenty of time on the green hanging their skills, that's for sure. I've yeah. actually never even tried to use one, so I yeah, they're, they're couldn't not really bad. even they're comment on whether it's how really? difficult it is. I've seen that there's different ones you can get. You can get the palm grip and the thumb grip. Release, so yep, thumb yep, release. yep, there's a trigger. So I would reckon, if I was to have a go, I reckon I'd prefer the palm one. That just seems more natural, like you know, releasing the ball. Yeah, the trigger you're actually pressing down, so it's... Uh, I, I'd used all of them, obviously, when we had long bowls to you, the bowl shop, um, and... Julie didn't really want to play around with it, uh, so I went out and honed a few skills. I reckon I actually played better with one, so I might, I, I'm thinking now the rules change, I might have to just get out there and uh, improve my skills. Yeah. Green looks like it's running uh, pretty good, considering the rain we've had this week. Uh, in the first game, um, Ryan Bester was basically all over it, as you would expect an international to be, but uh, he really set up the win for uh, himself and Kevin Anderson, and... Uh, the matchup with him and Jade Os, um, Jade was uh, also <laughs> playing extremely well for uh, Sean Baker over there. So the boys, I can see their heads are already lining up and nice and close. They're uh, about eight bowls in front of the girls. So real matchup happening. So there's a few people asking if um, the men's game is getting streamed. So I don't think I can see any cameras over there, but we'll um, definitely keep you up to date. No, um, no, we, we're going to, um, we've got, we're stuck with the cameras we've got, we're doing the ladies, we did the men's semi-final this morning, which um, 
was a, was a good game um, against the two Broad Beach teams, and this afternoon it was dictated we uh, we do the ladies, so um, all skier in uh, in the sex race. So uh, we've got to show a bit of everything. So that's good. We will give a little bit of little bit of an update and keep the commentary uh, up to date on the other on the boys' rink. We can see it from here, so that'll be good. The only problem we might have is looks like they're both using orange poles. Looks like Bakes and Kevin Anderson are both using orange, so it's not going to be easy just looking over there trying to work out who's got. Shot. Nah, that's true. I can tell you, orange is going pretty good this end. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. The girls are uh, the girls are well and truly underway here, and uh, it looks like there's two shots to um, to uh, Hudson and Usher. So nice little shot of Julie's there, just short, so that uh, that'll be usable. Nice to see um, the traditional format being played as well. We tend to watch a lot of three bowl pairs these days. Yeah, well, I was explaining this morning for, for those who may have tuned in that aren't real um, are new to bowls or um, um, don't understand the whole game. Uh, you know that the amount of internationals you play, most international games are 3 3. Um, they call this Australian bowls, which is the 2 2 2 2. Remember the days when it was two ball pairs? Yeah. That didn't last very long, did it? No, no. <laughs> that wasn't known. That didn't go down too well. <laughs> Good game to play for hunting school strips for Pennant, though. <laughs> yeah, okay. Seven ends, two ball pairs. Not a bad game. So you've played a lot of games with Julie as well. So, um, and against Caitlin? You've played many games against Caitlin? Um, just in the last couple of years, we've started to. Um, play against each other since she's been um, sort of heavily involved in the New Zealand team. Um, haven't really played sort of directly against her. We sort of tend to miss each other. I tend to either be leading or skipping and she's kind of in the middle somewhere. Yep. So nice uh, bowl coming in here but uh, just going kind to of come up a little bit short. Did fall over though so if it had a stayed up on its running surface might have been a nice little funnel there for Caitlin, but looks like Georgia just wanted to get something round about. They are three down. Not much of a target. So Caitlin just coming down here on her backhand. Um, she's just looking to sit in there. Uh, she's played pretty good weight, so it's an interesting little shot that she's played, and uh, looks like she's cut, cut a couple out in there. Uh, to actually um, gain shots, so yeah. she's picked up shot there. So Wendy's on her backhand. Oh, it's not Wendy, that's um, Heather. Hello. Heather's on her backhand. She's got plenty of weight. She's going to slide past. Pretty good spot though. Yeah, it's in a great home if something has to be uh, to moved at all. Certainly a shot on there for uh, Wendy off, off uh, the yellow bowl on the Caitlin's. Looks like Bester and Anderson scored first, just the one on the first end. Yes, line's uh, just drawn about uh, six inches off the jack, jack on, nice bowl. All right, Julie's on the uh, on the mat here. She's going to play her forehand down there, looking just to uh, slide inside the uh, the maroon bowl that's just short there. Weight's not too bad here for the shot she's trying to play. Uh, it just depends on the uh, the course. Yeah, not a, not a too bad a bowl there. So what's up next for um, for Kelsey? There's a lot coming up actually. Um, got the Aussie Open starting. 
um, just before that, Linz and I are pairing up in the Blue Diamond. Is it the Blue Diamond? Blue Diamond, Blue Diamond yeah. yeah. Blue Diamond pairs at Broadbeach. That, that'll, that'll be a good event. They've got a one extremely good field there. Yeah, so good practice with um, all the stuff we've got coming up. Um, so, yeah, Aussie Open for a couple of weeks. And then about three days after the Australian Open finishes, the Asian Pacific Games kicks off um, around here on the Gold Coast. So, Helens Vale, Musgrave Field and Broadbeach. We will be well and truly informed by then, girls. Like, you've that many bowls on your belt. No, that's oh. the plan. That's the plan. Uh, I've got to go deep in the Australian Open, though. It could be all over in a week, and then I'll have a week to twiddle my thumbs and get out there doing training drills. I think I'd much prefer to be out there playing in the in the, the um, dying stages of the Australian Open. Yeah, well, that's where the money end is, and it always comes in handy, doesn't it? Just a little bit tight on that one. That's uh, the bowl of Caitlin inches going up. Um, so. It looks like one to Keegan an inch. So Simon, Simon's just asking if this is the final. Yeah, absolutely. Final of the Queensland State women's pairs. The men are next door. Um, and then just to the left of the screen, you can just catch um, the women's over 60s final. And further on down the green, Way down on rink eight is the men's over 60s final. We've got a few people on board here. So, um, Wendy Peach has uh, jumped on board. Uh, Alex Murta. Alex out there in the, uh, out, out near the mines. Good afternoon, Alex. Where's Bakes? Uh, I, don't, I do think he changed his bowls more than his undies, really. I don't know about that. I don't do uh, bases washing, so I can't comment on that, Alex. Simon Potter's on board. Pretty handy over there from Heather. Yeah, no, she's, um, she's jumped on that end. Not sure what's going out on the other rink. It's, uh, we'll leave that until we uh, till the end to commentate on what's happening over there. But uh, on the uh, on the show rink at the moment, uh, Caitlin's got a lovely bowl coming in. Uh, it's just going to come up uh, just a fraction short. It's, it's a very good bowl to give one shot. Surprised to see the Broad Beach girls playing a slightly longer length. It's not full length, but it's um, yeah, good, good three quarters. Why would you say that? Why, yeah. Tell the viewers why yeah, you just, why you're thinking that. Yeah, just playing against these girls a lot. I think um, they're pretty experienced. They're not going to come out in a final and just you know, throw up, I wouldn't have I thought that they would come out and just throw up a medium length end and, mm. and let the opposition get into a bit of a groove. I was pretty sure they're going to try something early. I mean, playing a state final, you want to get off to a good start. Got to uh, suss out your opponents early to see if you can find a bit of a weakness. Yeah, for the normal puncher out there that um, is just playing club bowls, you'll notice that the girls don't, or, or the guys don't normally just leave the mat two metres uh, from the tee, which uh, you see a lot in social bowls. Jack, three quarters way up the ring, three quarters length all the whole game. Um, when you come out and play experienced players, they're going to move move the mat around, they're going to play vary the length, and they're going to look for that little little bit of an advantage. I've seen you a lot of time go ditch to ditch and then bring the mat right up and put it on the tee. So it's, it's those changes that bring us a normal club player undone, isn't it, really, yeah. City? And I think that's what makes it exciting too. I mean, gosh, I wouldn't want to be out there for 21 ends just playing a pretty similar length the whole time. I think that'd get a little bit boring. So yeah, you definitely got to change it up a little bit. Not a too bad a bowl coming in here at Julie's. Um, just push Caitlin's bowl over towards the jack. So nice little bowl there. So the men's final. Now one all after two ends.
Yeah, for those tuning in, um, it's great that uh, you let us know where you're from and what you're doing, so uh, which bowls club you're with. Uh, we'll give a shout out to those clubs and please uh, share the, the feed. We've got, uh, we've got the ever-present Kelsey uh, Cottrell uh, on board here giving us some commentary, so um, we've got an experienced commentator there, an experienced watcher. I'm a bit of a, bit of a watcher. I've seen a lot of <laughs> international games, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do play, but uh, not that great. Over 60s, Justin, we're just um, we're just going to get an update on the over 60s. Uh, just we're letting them get a few ends in, so we can uh, see where they're at. Uh, as far as we can see on the boards at the moment, nothing's been turned over. They're only one end in, so we'll try and give you an update um, every four or five ends, if possible. Brindle's back on board, Michael from uh, Lowood, who uh, was watching the game this morning, so welcome back, Michael. A oh, great shot just played, uh, played down there then by um, Heather. She's picked up the jack and moved it, uh, moved it out there, uh, one shot. So um, it was starting to get a little untidy for them, so she's played a, a good weighted shot through there. Benny from uh, Tuesday from uh, Twonton Noosa, your old uh, stopping ground, Kels. Yeah, I know Twonton Noosa very well. Mm. Played a lot of games there, watched a lot of games in your very young days. Yeah, absolutely. I started at Twonton Noosa when I was about 12. And played there pretty much until I finished school. Probably last, last year of school. Went to Coolum, had a year at Noosa as well there for a while with Jules and my name Shrew back was there. You won your uh, first big event, uh, the Marishidor Singles, I think, when you were still with Taunton Noosa? Yeah, that was, um, oh gosh, when would have been... 16? Oh, probably would have been younger. I hadn't even made the state side or anything like that yet. Um, no. Yeah, probably about... I think it might have been 2004, so 14, 14, yeah. and, a, 14 and a half. That was a big event, big stepping stone for you. That's where everything started. Yeah, uh, you just never know who's going to be in the crowd when you're when you're uh, playing, and just happened to be an Australian selector in the crowd. And you were playing the best of the best. Uh, that event attracted the names of Murphy and yep. Rigby and um, the late Jenny Harrigan, who was a, a terrific player. Um, Jules used to play it. The, the, yep. the who's who of bowls back then was yeah, always was a, at the game. It was a fantastic tournament. And I'm actually talking to someone the other day about how there's been a lot of a lot of tournaments that sort of fell by the wayside the last you know, five, it, six, seven years. Yeah, look, it's especially it, for women. Oh, I have to it, say it's such a shame that a lot of the big singles have gone. Uh, mm. You know, they used to get good crowds and. Um, not sure why it's 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 gone the way it has, but uh, it is a shame that those events are no longer on. Yeah, it's a little bit short coming up, uh, a little bit short there. Julie um, is one down, looking to. To realistically add a uh, probably three feet to her last bowl, but she uh, she has to draw around that that last red one, which will be problematic. Donna's just asking. If the over 60s pairs will be live streamed, well, unfortunately not because they're all happening at once. Yes, um, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just looking and just counting the cameras, and I don't think we've got enough cameras to spread no, that far. No, we certainly can't. And, it's, and technology today, you would only get three or four ends of a final of every game, which uh, really means that the viewer is not going to be able to get, get into a game to, uh, to actually see it evolve. So if you took snippets from each game, um, I think it'd be a pretty ordinary telecast, really. So 
So currently, uh, the other one over there, let's see, it's So it uh, looks like Bryce uh, picked up two on the very first first end over there, um, Bryce Joy against uh, Kevin Deegan, if I'm seeing the board correctly. A little bit younger eyes than I do, Kels, come on. Mm -hmm. Funny angle. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a D, Deegan, yeah, I reckon you're right. Oh, <laughs> I had to be right sooner or later, so that's great, that's one for me. I'll play this uh, telecast back to Julie so she knows that I've actually made the... I've got one on the board for me. Um, and with Witten and... Um, O'Connor. O'Connor, yes. O'Connor's uh, picked up a two on the first end in that event as well. So the over-60s, that gives you a quick little update. They really, they've really they only played one end, so we're, uh, we're waiting for the boards to be flipped. Uh, with Baker and um, Anderson or Besta, whichever way they're going to have it up on the board. Uh, yeah, they've gone Anderson and, ba and Baker. They're one all after two. So, as we said, that game is going to uh, be a bit of a cracker. And we're well on the way here in the, the ladies' final with uh, Caitlin Edge putting a beautiful lead bowl in and then just being straight away matched up by Heather, who's uh, realistically just came down there and matched the bowl. So, she's not uh, daunted at all playing against the New Zealand International. No, well, they've been in this situation before. I mean, last year in the State Falls final when they won. Oh, that's a lovely bowl of Kate and inches in there to uh, pick up too, so beautifully played there. Yeah, some nice lead bowls there, actually. To be fair, both skips would be pretty happy with those bowls. Yeah, you could, you could throw a tea towel over the top of those and, uh, and nothing would be outside it, so there's some great bowls being played there. Good start. So let's see what the skips will do. A bit of pressure now for the skips to perform, I would think. I can't say too much, otherwise I'll get into trouble. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave Julie's commentary to you, I think. <laughs> she can ring you. So another end to uh, Anderson and Vesta. Uh, picked up a two on that end, so after three ends, uh, three one. For Anderson over Baker, the reigning current rating Queensland Pairs champions. Mm, trying to go back to back. Haven't seen the drive yet. No, not since yesterday. Everyone's talking about the best of drive yesterday. Oh, what was that one? He split the jack. Um, there was oh. half a jack, then there was a quarter of a jack, and the rest was in a million bits. So wow. uh, he absolutely destroyed it. Uh, no mean feet. There's a lot of uh, players out there watching uh, that I've seen do the same thing. I've seen Murdo. Alex has uh, had his name down there a few times, and uh, he's one for doing the same sort of thing. Don't see it very often from a lead, though. He's only oh. lead, Michael. I oh, know. A lead's allowed to drive. Yeah, of course they are. <laughs> Especially when you can hit them like they do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a few of our viewers this morning were a bit disappointed that uh, Vesta was leading because they went to see the drive. <laughs> As I explained, Anderson and Vesta will <laughs> drive from any position. <laughs> and as quick as each other. Uh, actually, who's quicker? I know that down at Broadbeach you've had the, the speed gun out. Was there an official? Look, it really came down to, um, it was micro. It just depends on how the speed gun was held because Kevin Anderson, uh, when he wants to go, uh, the big fella gives it a fair shove. Well, this is an interesting comment. Just I wasn't going to go that far. I was just going to talk about the speed, but now someone wants us to talk about the accuracy. Like, who's more accurate? Uh, more accurate? Mm, yes, well, if you watch them, um, you'd have to say the Master Blaster uh, will hold the title there. Yes, the Master Blaster, um, as he's known, uh, Ryan Bester from Canada, has uh, been playing bowls. Uh, since he came out of the cradle, really, I think. Um, <laughs> he's, uh, 
If you want to know about a game, uh, Ryan's been involved. He can tell you shot for shot. He loves his game of bowls and uh, very passionate about it and plays wow, too much. Wow, what a oh, shot. That's a great bowl. What a terrific bowl. Heather's really um, stepped up in this game, hasn't she? She's played three cracking shots at the moment. She did the damage last set as well with that nice backhand trial. Yeah. Now she's swapped over and played a nice conversion on the forehand as well. Caitlin Inch has um, got some great weight here and is going to sit the bowl. Yes, she has. A terrific bowl there from Caitlin. Great reply. That's what you like to see out of your, uh, your leads. Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to see Heather try something a little bit similar here. It's not a massive tiger, but you know, give it a, a yard or so. Make sure you're there. Yeah, she's going to play down on the same hand. So she, yeah, she's following um, Caitlin's bowl down. Uh, it's well on its way now, so she's got plenty of weight. So it'll, it'll really come down to uh, whether she's got the accuracy. She's, yeah, she's just a little tight. I was yeah, incorrect there. She's probably about um, a foot short. It's a good bowl, but it's also a bit of a bad one because it blocks the... Knock up a bit. Yeah, true, true, but it just doesn't give her a skipper a clean shot at no, the shot bowl on this one. Oh, we got the knock up a ball there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's the clean shot's not there because it, it is still sitting up on its running surface, pointed away from the jack, so any contact on it on the um, centre of the bowl is going to run clean through the head, so. Um, Sort of takes that shot away a little bit. Plenty there though. Caitlin's bowl still to be sat on. And got best back as well, so. Let's see, Wendy gave us a pretty good show. By the hands, really. We'll see which way she puts it in. I think she's, uh, she's going forehand. Yep. Going to come down on her forehand. On its way, um, it's just going on the outside of the pack there, so anything can happen. That's sort of the shot that I thought she would play there. On the way, maybe touch more and make sure she can. She's not going to miss the jack underneath the head. Make sure yeah. she if she misses yeah. the yellow. She definitely guts the jack. What's Julie done? Julie's a bit tight here. Oh. Down yeah. with that. So, um, yeah, Julie's laid it down. Won't be happy with herself. Pretty good. Yeah, it might uh, force Julie to play a different shot here. Oh. Um, she needs the jack. If she can get hold of the jack, move it back, say a yard, yard and a half to um, the back bowls there, past the yellow. Uh, that's three shots. As long as it doesn't go all the way back, but she's already one down, so yeah. it's, it's not going to make a difference if the jack goes all the way back. She's still only be one down. Okay. I think Caitlin's called something pretty aggressive here. I can see those two balls going out clean. That's yeah, it'll, it'll all come down to um, Julie hasn't been able to really put a, a quick drive in today because oh, of the back. need to go flat out. Uh, Get the split on the two. You'll see, by the way, she's, she's just delivered that. She's steering it, but uh, just through the hole. Any touch on that would have uh, got some sort of result. So that's another one down. Got a bit of a crowd in this afternoon here at the uh, Helens Bowl Bowls Club. Uh, I noticed a lot of the, uh, the spectators here came up early, grabbed something to eat. They've all got a, uh, 
a cooling ale or a uh, soft drink with them, a few wines I can see. So mm-hmm. everyone seems to be enjoying themselves and uh, settled in here under the uh, under the awning for a great afternoon watching uh, some talent on the grain. Yeah, it's a great spot here actually. They've got a good setup with the, the bar tables and stools and the sort of picnic benches and umbrellas. Started, it's pretty low scoring in, in all the games across the board. Let's see, 2-0, two 2-all, two 3-2, two 2-1. Two so no one's made any early moves. No. Damien Cleary is on board, Julian Allen. Uh, good afternoon to you guys. Remember to share the uh, telecast. Got one of your, your fellow <laughs> <laughs> crews over there from New Zealand watching. Uh, they'd be uh, probably going for Caitlin, I would think. Balls from Caitlin again. Just happened to sit on Heather's bowl there. So again, you know, four pretty handy bowls. Yeah, no, the Louis, short. The Louis are playing well. They're really playing well. Got a bit of reading material there, have you, Michael? Uh, just, uh, just going to have a few things, but uh, I'd like to mention that uh, the live stream is brought to you by Gold Coast Tweed Media Team. And uh, that's in conjunction with uh, the support from Bowls Queensland and the city of the Gold Coast. So, you know, everyone's out there uh, doing their best, and uh, it's, it's great that we have people come along, such as yourself, that has uh, a great knowledge of the game, knowledge of the players that can add to the commentary and add to the atmosphere of the whole game. Um, so, it's we need to have uh, people on board that uh, can help us out. You don't have to have all the technical skills or uh, or know the plays or you don't have to commentate. Just come along, give us a hand, put your hand up. You never know, you might uh, really enjoy yourself. Great opener for Wendy. Oh, Looks like she's right yeah. on it. Yeah, it, like this head's really, really developing, and uh, Julie's uh, just put a bowl in there as yeah. well. So, well, wow, was good. The uh, the head is really, uh, really developing into a real contest here once again. So every end's been well and truly contested. There hasn't been a, an easy end as yet. So. A lot goes into these uh, these events, Kelsey. You know, just the organisation uh, you know, from the, the girls in at Bowls Queensland and the guys in there as well that take your entries, put it all together, um, get all the information out of the players so they know where they're going, what they're doing. So we'd like to thank those people for doing that. That it gives everyone the opportunity to come along and play in these. The umpires, the greenkeepers, the bar staff, you know, bistro, and all the clubs that are involved. It's been a terrific, uh, terrific effort. Considering some days have been not so sunny like this, we've had a few days of rain while we played, so it's a lot easier when it's nice and sunny. Mm-hmm. So Wendy was a little bit unlucky there. She just made contact with her shot ball, and because it was uh, not much of a gap, Jack's gone back towards Caitlin's blue one, so we can't even, can't even really see the Jack in the picture, but it's sort of right in between the two blues. It's sort of towards the back of the the, the ball at the back by the looks yeah, of it. It's right just in, in yeah, just in front of that. Um, you may see the the second shadow uh, up the line. Julie's on the line there, her right foot, and I'd say the jack is just that small shadow just in front of the back blue ball. 
I have no doubt we will discover it at some stage with this many bowls to come. Especially with the way they're playing. So here's Heather. She's playing up on the forehand. Got a bit of weight, looking to make contact with the marine bowls. Just through. Just running for cover here. Yeah, just trying to get to those yellows just a little bit, uh, little bit over, but that, that's fine. Best back now, so Julie will be happy with that. Best is just drawn a uh, absolute over there. Nice ball by Ryan Bester. Yeah, so that, that uh, Julie just indicated is still holding shot, so that jack must be very close to that back bowl of Caitlin's. Yeah, so that yellow one in front of it is probably just under a foot short. Unfortunately for Heather and Wendy, it's sort of blocking the jack. You can't really see, you wouldn't be able to see the jack on the mat, I don't think. No. That's a lovely ball by uh, Caitlin as well. So there is, uh, and it played into there. And Jack has a little bit of movement. She's there to catch it again. The game of Witten and O'Connor are currently um, they're all drawn. So two all on three. So uh, another very close contest over there, as we said at the beginning of the game. At uh, all the, all the games being played out there are really going to come to the, down to the wire. We don't think uh, there'll be too many games where someone just jumps out and uh, does a wince. Um, <laughs> I think all these games are going to come down to a, a really good thought contest. So Deegan and Stewart, uh, there's one shot in that after three ends. Um, Stewart, I think, is still up. So uh, you haven't got any of the uh, the kids out there playing yet, girls? <laughs> kids, only one. I've only got one to worry about. <laughs> what um, about Andrew? Don't you, any one of the uh, children? Well, I let him play on the weekend. Oh, that's for me. That that was was nice you have you two kids, have you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Andrew doesn't really get to play much. Um, sort of a bit flat out, um, running the Australian Open and Age Pacific Games, and then later on. Down the, well, down the track, you'll sort of move into running the World Championships, which are in 20, May 2020 um, here on the Gold Coast, Broadbeach, Helensvale and Musgrave Hill. So busy times ahead for him. So yeah. you're not getting out on the green too much. I think he's looking forward to playing pennant. Um, the beauty of being able to play on the weekend, I guess. You can have a flat out work week and then come have a nice relaxing game of bowls. And you're, uh, everyone's playing sad days now. Uh, you're playing sad though? Yes, I did hear that the women grade grade one are yeah. playing on Saturday mornings. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. Yeah, unfortunately, I missed a couple of games because I'm overseas playing for Australia against um, oh, England, would... Ireland, Wales, and Scotland. Oh, that's terrible. I, I, I'm not sure everyone would say that's unfortunate. Yeah, well, I was actually really looking forward to playing. I missed a few games last year for the same reason, playing overseas and. It's unfortunate that the dates um, have clashed again, but um, yeah, nothing that can really be done there, unfortunately. The UK trip was a bit, bit late notice. Great opportunity for the, uh, the young girls now to be able to play, you know, if they, if they can hone enough skills to get in that top division in their club, to play on a sad day. Um, how do you feel about that? What would that have done to impact your game as a young person? Yeah, well, look, um, a lot of people don't really believe me, but I, I mean, well, you would know, Mark, because we sort of come up on the Sunshine Coast together, but I didn't really play a lot of club championships back in the day. I used to play the, the club pairs with mum and occasionally might play the singles. 
Um, I used to play the mixed pairs because I played it on the weekend. But my first five or six years of bowls, I barely played club championships. I just played tournaments and, and weekend things, um, night pennants, you know, on Wednesday nights, um, social bowls on Sunday nights. Um, so, yeah, I, I missed out on the opportunity of playing championships and, and pennant as well. I, I never really played pennant on the Sunshine Coast because it was on Mondays. Um, yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, it's a good, it's it's great to, to have that. Um, available to play women's bowls on the weekend. The only thing I worry about is that when you sort of get to the stage that we're at when you're playing competitively in grade one pennant, you're sort of at a point where you're kind of prepared to take days off. You have to because all the rep stuff's um, during the week. I worry for the ladies that are just starting out, um, the ones that have got kids and jobs and that are studying, you know, at uni or at school, and they're just starting out and they're probably only, you know, grade three or four players. Um, they're going to be forced to take days off uh, to play pennant. So uh, I think it's a great start that, that one of the divisions here on the Gold Coast have offered weekend pennant, but I, I think the way the future is definitely to try and get another one, um, a lower division to play on the weekend as well, just to, um, maybe, just to really spread. Maybe even division two. It's, um, a lot of these young girls, if they're going to be any good, they pick it up very, very quickly. Yeah. Like, and, and they can get into there if they, they hone their skills. Um, I see that Division 2's triples, two bowl triples, Division 2. Uh, so it's a draw game. Uh, get them in there early, hone their skills uh, in a competitive environment instead of the social environment that some of these grades can be. Yeah. Um, I think that that'd be, that'll be all good for the game as well and have them playing on a Saturday instead of Fridays. At least they've got a place you can put them. Uh, it's a moment we like you're saying, it's going to be very, very difficult to actually place them because they're going to have to have been, well, basically a natural at the game. That these people have got uh, honed their skills as far as a good delivery and they're solid, but there's also players that just walk onto a mat and draw shots, which are they're the natural players of the games. Um, you know, like we were talking about this morning with Kevin Anderson and Ryan Nine, uh, Bester and Bakes. These guys walk onto the mat, deliver a bowl in three seconds. <laughs> and you ask them what they look at, and they, you, you don't know. They don't even know what they look at. They just put it down there. Like riding a bike. Like riding a bike. <laughs> I tend to ride it, and it seems like it's only got one wheel, and, <laughs> <laughs> and the other one's flat. Well, there's a lot of good things happening up here. Like, you know, I can sort of talk about, you know, playing on weekends and stuff, but... You know, I, th- I think it's so awesome that up here in um, Division One Pennant, that for the women, there are three rinks. You know, in, in Sydney, where I play, um, you know, it's only eight, only eight ladies. It's only two rinks of fours that get the opportunity to play in Grade One Pennant. So um, it's very cutthroat. Um, you know, you've got some really great players who are sort of down in the twos and and then again, you know, down in the threes. So, you know, we're very lucky up here that, that you get 12 players that can play in the ones. So there is some, some really good things happening up here. And then here on the Gold Coast, Division 1 pennant on a Saturday. I know there's some other di- um, some other districts. I think it's is it Cunningham District maybe. Um, the yeah. ladies that play on weekends and they play all their district championships on the weekends. So that's probably the next step. You know, it's oh. all well and good to do pennant, but yep. you need to be offer something else, whether it's the club triples and the district fours or something like that might be on the weekend or at night. Give everyone the opportunity. That's uh, what Bowles... We want bowls to be about everyone getting an opportunity to get out there onto the greens. Yeah, so I mean, I definitely, I'm not, I'm not one that's going to go around preaching that everything has to be played on the weekend because that's oh. just not realistic. Um, no, yeah. look, you've got to give them the opportunity. Golf's gone that way. Golf gives the uh, the young school girls an opportunity. We, Julie and I, uh, grew up uh, well played golf with young Catherine Hull, and she always found it difficult. And as soon as the club allowed her to play on a Saturday morning with us. Um, myself and her father and another guy, um, Catherine went from strength to strength and here she is, she's a pro. Yep. Wouldn't have had that opportunity unless the club had turned around and said, yes, yeah, she could play as long as she, <laughs> she had to hit off early. But um, mm-hmm. you've got to give the youngsters an opportunity. And in this game right now, we need as many players on that grass as we can get. This head's uh, really uh, interesting the way they've played it. The, the Jacks uh, moved a couple of times already so it's it's been a, a, another tough hit.
just trying to uh, work out what's going on the men's right next door. I saw Ryan Best would try the Jack, so I think that yeah. the Broad Beach crew are probably holding two, possibly. So Bakes was having a little bit of a run for the bowl of the Jack. Yeah, yeah, that um, Best is definitely holding uh, the shot. He may have, have a secondary. And then it depends who you're, who's the orange who, bowl, that is. <laughs> who owns the orange bowl? How dare they use the same colour? She'll go just back to black. Tricky little shot here, Julie's looking at playing. Um, I'm not sure uh, what hand she'll probably come down on in here. She'll probably play the forehand down, but uh, she's holding. It. What do you reckon, two? Uh, could be more. Yeah, two or three. Yeah, I can't really see the other bowl from our screen here. Um, and I can't see it live either. So I can't see over the screens to the see any of the holding. Could be, like, could, could be four. Be, could be four. <laughs> Too busy talking. No, I think it has to be four because you um, can see Wendy's two maroon bowls are right at the back. Oh, um, so the yeah. rest have got to be Jules and Caitlin. Yeah. So big trouble here for Wendy. Bakes, uh, Baker just uh, had a drive there, so... Uh, He's just put best to, one of Bester's touches in the ditch. Okay, so here we go. Wendy's uh, first bowl. Or third bowl, I should say. Just a little bit wide there, so that has uh, slid past. So she's uh, definitely playing the way. Caitlin's asked Julie to come down on the back end here. Just uh, drawing down to her foot, which is uh, about a metre and a half behind the jack, so uh, just covering those, those bowls there, so um, she'd be happy with that. Yeah, good spot. Bit of pressure, this is the first bit of pressure Wendy's really been under. Um, they've, up until now she's only ever been one or one down or you know, yeah. at the most two, so there's a bit of pressure on here, so she'd be sucking the big ones in. So. She's taken the weight off the bowl uh, from her last shot, so she's changed shots and she's pretty much in there and got wow, the jack. what a great shot. That's a great shot for um, one. So, what a save. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a big save there. So uh, that takes uh, Usher to three, two on five ends uh, over Julie Keegan. We'll give you a quick rundown of the other rinks. Um, Sean Baker and uh, Kevin Anderson are three all on five. We've got Witten and uh, O'Connor, six two on five. And we've got Stuart two, um, is that correct? Against Deegan, three on three. It's playing a pretty. Um, well, ditch to ditch is uh, just a bit over three quarter length here now. It's going to come up a metre and a half short there. Um, on the line, so she's uh, got a grasp, just the weight. So just push it into a little bit of a headwind coming this way. Yeah, the um, it has picked up a little bit, probably an extra five knots since uh, they started. So Caitlin's adjusted well and has come in for a, uh, a lovely little shot there, six inches behind the jack. So how'd you work that out, Mark? You just sit your finger out. What's that? The, the, the five knots, you just lick your finger and stick it out. And I looked at the little white um, <laughs> tail up there. Yeah, and you can judge that angle as an extra five. Yeah, five. Yeah. It's yeah. impressive. I always knew you were smart, but that's. I used to fly planes. We, we've got to know that stuff. <laughs> Kurt Brown is learning to do this stuff okay. right now. Well, so am I. You're giving me a lesson here. Yeah? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the wing sock. It's called curls. That was a uh, nice little bowl coming in for Caitlin. So she's uh, she went straight to the Leeds handbook and went uh, one on and one behind. 
page three, paragraph two, apparently. Dave McCann has just said hello, Kels. Peter's just letting us know in the comments that the Brisbane District play all ladies' divisions on a Saturday morning. Yeah. Well, so that's pretty impressive. I applaud them for that, uh, that move. That's pretty good. Another lovely ball coming in here um, from Wendy. That's uh, she's really uh, she's really enjoying this green by the looks of it. So she didn't crack under the pressure of the last end. Has just stepped straight back up and drawn another one. So doing a tremendous job. Be interested to know if that Brisbane District's women's numbers actually went up or whether it went down by moving the whole lot. Oh, great bowl by um, Julie there. A little bit of a, a feather onto the jack and uh, has uh, claimed the shot. Yeah, that would be interesting to know. It's, uh, and, uh, Did it's that help increase the participation numbers in women's pattern or? Especially after a couple of years. We've got to wait until maybe those school kids understand they can actually go and play bowls now. That it is an option. Mm. They would have already signed up to play netball or uh, a number of other sports, but once we give them that option, option after a couple of years, maybe the numbers will pick up. There's that call. Girls that we all love, just do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I've just played the perfect ball. Yep, just do it again. Got the blocker. Yeah, got the blocker. <laughs> Another great head developing here, folks. So it's, uh, it's really, it may look a little bit uh, spread out on the screen here, but if, you, um, if you're shooting down the, the barrel of the gun here, it's, there's some really good, a good head developing here. There's three very great, good shots uh, around the jack. Uh, there's good placement. They've got one each behind. Um, so it's, the leads will get a jump on the mat here. Um, Probably try and fatten it up a little bit more uh, from Wendy's point of view. Because she's only got the one in the head right now, but if yeah. she can get another one in the head, uh, it'll be interesting to see what shots she plays from there. Heather's carrying some uh, weight up to the head here, and there's. Uh, as well, that works. Now put, the, uh, put that other shot in there. Lovely ball by Caitlin Inch. Yeah, that's a really good shot. That's probably third shot. That's mm. a big help. Yeah, it's, uh, this is really developing into a, a head that um, you can nearly play by the hand. Um, when it comes to Heather and Wendy, it's, it's going to be a tough call to see what happens here. He's carrying the weight, um, I believe, in there. Just a little bit wide. Quick update for the viewers on uh, the over 60s men. Bryce Stewart's uh, team is now 7 3 up after 5. So um, Bryce has picked a couple in the last couple of hands. He's picked up a, a couple over there. You've, uh, you've had plenty to do with Bryce. I heard he had to play a bit of a screamer to make the final. He had to sort of somehow get in between a couple of short bowls and trail the jack, and I think he made three or four to win the game. We will never hear the end of that. <laughs> well, he was the one that told me. <laughs> <laughs> over Snitzel. 
<laughs> he does like schnitzels. Uh, he's a funny old, funny, funny guy, Bryce. Played a thousand games for Victoria. <laughs> Looks like a big town next door. Three. Uh, looks like Baker and um, Jade have picked up a three against Anderson and Vesta. Uh, still persisting with this uh, this backhand down here. Um, just running into uh, the short stuff. No, that's all right though. It opens it up. Opens up for Wendy's next one. Makes it awfully difficult for Jules. Uh, the backhand would be mighty risky. You don't want to make any contact with the maroon ball just in front of the jack. Yeah, that's that's a that's a fair call, Kelsey. So it's uh, it's a difficult head for uh, Julie's team. Um, the advantage, even though they are holding shot, the advantage is definitely on the other side. Uh, so Julie's going to take that advice. I think it might have been. Uh, ASB there, and she must be channeling your thoughts because she's swapped straight out of the forehand yeah. and playing it. And she can't see his viewers, obviously, she can't uh, read her across his lips from here. But uh, he's played a pretty good shot here, trying to uh, get back to the jacks. So just out of that, that short, a little bit short. So. When he's up on the backhand, just yep. to make contact with the. She's playing. Um, looks like she's got plenty of weight to play the shot uh, yeah. that she's after, but uh, it's looking like it's going to. Uh, oh, look at this! Got the rub and in for shot. Yeah. Uh, that's bowls. But she had great weight. The luck begins when you reach the head. Yeah, absolutely. So a bit of weight here from Jules. Yeah, it's supposed to go um, a little bit quicker than normal. Oh, nearly. Not the shot she was after. Um, Caitlin's given uh, considered one shot there, so the contest continues um, as a very uh, uh, the way it's been going. Extremely tight. So after six end, uh, we've got Wendy Usher on four and Julie Keegan on two. Right, so there's a note here in the comments from Balls Queensland that there's been some pullouts in the women's singles that commence tomorrow. So if you'd like to get a game, well, there's a phone number here to call. At this stage, the men's singles is full. So, looking for women's singles players for tomorrow. Is that a broad beach, Michael? I'm not sure. Um, I thought Julie was playing Mermaid. She's, okay. had to, she's had to pull out with a bad back. Oh, so, she's causing all this trouble. She's one of the troublemakers. <laughs> she is. Yeah, so, she was actually going to pull out of the whole state championships <laughs> at one stage. So, uh, playing with the grandchild. Has heard about <laughs> Wiggles girls. She went to the <laughs> went to the Wiggles concert and got her. she wore Nan out. Aww. She ended up hurting her back. But the Wiggles are dangerous. Oh, I, tell you. I tell you. My little one was dancing to the Wiggles the other day, and she nearly went back into the cabinet and knocked herself out. Oh, did she like Emma? She just likes the songs. She just likes the music. Yeah, she's not really fun. She's, she's a funny one. She's gone off watching it, but she wants to listen to it on my phone. And no, dance. She just wants no. to dance. She just wants to get a groove on. She's, uh, yeah, she's yeah. a bit more, bit more style than I've got on the dance floor. Yeah, little Chloe's obsessed with Emma. She's got to wear Emma's clothes and do Emma ballet. And, uh. Anyway, let's get back to balls. Jacob Inch is uh, on board. 
Not sure who he'd be going for. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's playing well, Jacob. But um, played well over the last few days. So uh, obviously, to get through to the final. It's been a good spread of winners this year. Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw Scotty De Jong won two state titles. Yeah, Scotty. Um, so he's going well. I think Scotty was. Uh, the way he was playing, that he might even get the pair. So he's uh, he's playing great bowls, yes. A bit more of a mix in the women's this year. I, I do remember Chloe winning a few last year, so she's um, gone out in the semi of, of this one. She won the triples, though. She won the triples. I didn't um, see her, uh, her fours. So Bolivia won the fours. Yes. So um, Bolivia and Cass back in the uh, the winning circle there with their their team. So. Um, I think young Jess uh, was in that side as well. Jessie Cattell, yep. Yeah, so she was in that side. So the young ones come through on the fours. Who else was in that side? Terrible, isn't it? My memory's gone. I'm, I'm old. Old and grey. <laughs> so currently we've got, uh, sitting here, we're, um, we've got Heather holding shot. Uh, just one shot over Caitlin. They... Uh, a little bit of a spread on this end. I think the girls have got used to pushing up into the wind there and uh, coming to lay up the down, the downwind turn. Julie's playing the, uh, the wide hand. Pretty good weight coming in here, and has drawn the shot. So um, lovely shot there, Jules. Nicely done. I think a lot of people probably would have been tempted to play a bit of a niggling shot on the floor. And I reckon it probably looked juicy from the map, but um, there's probably not really a good close one in there for the Broad Beach girl. So um, Jules has got, got on yeah. that and drew the shot, which is good. The door gone wrong, got Caitlin's bowl out, then uh, there was a fairly big spread there, and you've got yourself under a bit of pressure. But uh, yeah, old, the old, old head prevailed. <laughs> Get one close. That could cost me a cup of tea, I think. <laughs> Same the old head. <laughs> Shot there from Heather. She's moved the jack. Yeah, I reckon she's got. Yeah, Jules is indicating to Kayla that they're down again. Yeah, look at that. Uh, jack only moved a couple of inches. That's yeah. all it needed. Yeah, seven all on eight now on um, the Anderson and uh, Baker rink. So um, these boys are uh, definitely uh, pulled the guns out of, out of the holsters and are going uh, head to head over here. It's uh, certainly punch for punch. Uh, the uh, both leads are playing well. Jados uh, has just put one about six inches off the jack. Um, Bester will reply without a doubt. Um, Drawing one of his great shots that he's played over the last couple of days, and these guys are really playing some great bowls, as as well as the girls. The girls are playing some lovely bowls here. Got a lovely bowl by Heather. Um, I think they will um, look at trying to remove something here, open it up a little bit. Yep, they've definitely got Caitlin uh, playing a little weight at the head here. Uh, she's very close and uh, has disturbed the head. Great, good, good little shot there by Caitlin. Um, still one over to uh, to Wendy's Usher's side of the uh, the ring. I might just add, when we're talking about um, 
the women's singles for tomorrow. If there's any women out there thinking that they'd like to play but maybe don't want to play three games, it's actually only two games. I noticed all the sections were only sections of three. So it's only two games of singles tomorrow. Um, so if that, you know, if you know someone that maybe didn't enter the singles because they thought they didn't want to play three games of singles after playing, you know, for a couple of weeks straight, yep. it's only yep. two games. So maybe you might know someone that would be keen to have a game. Uh, what happens with the entry there, Kels? Does it cost them anything to go in and play? Oh, I'm not sure. Entry's already been paid once. I don't know. I'm sure they can give you that advice if you, uh, you give that phone number a call and uh, speak to them. They'll be able to let you know exactly uh, what happens there. Probably open the can of worms, but anyway. Oh, Julie's uh, just down here at the moment. She can't play too aggressively, I wouldn't think, because uh, stringing the jack would not go well for her. She's looking pretty good. She's going to get past the yellow. Yep, she's done it. Oh, a lovely shot there by Jules. And uh, with that, I'm just going to go and play the granddaughter for a little while. Okay. Still watch the game. You continue your... Uh, the lovely coverage here, and we'll bring in someone that I think everyone will know as well. So, <laughs> one of your teammates. <laughs> Bit of girl power I'm hearing from behind us. Welcome, Liz. Hey, Kelso. How is things? Things are going pretty good here. A couple of good games here to keep our eyes on. Well, four good games really, but you can sort of just in left of screen see, catch a bit of the men's every now and then. Oh yeah, I see the scores on the screen there. That's very helpful. How did Michael go? He wasn't too biased with Julie out there, was he? He <laughs> was very good. He thinks he's going to get in trouble with a couple of things he said. But <laughs> if she watches the replay. Yeah. <laughs> Up from Jade next door. It's lovely to see a bit of sunshine for one of our finals. We've had a <laughs> couple of uh, rough finals weather days, I think. A bit of rain, a bit of wind, a bit of clouds. So it's nice to have the uh, Gold Coast sunshine out. Mm. So Wendy's last bowl. Wow, she's only got a nice little result again, like she did last end, but not quite that time. Uh, Jules has got one left to play, holding one, maybe two. Yeah, so it's good to see Wendy and Heather out there again in another final. I, I'm not sure if you mentioned, but last year uh, they were in the state winning fours team, I think, so uh, go very, very well themselves. They'll be right up for this final against Caitlin and Julie, who are again very experienced players themselves. They must absolutely dominate when they go to the National <laughs> Bowling Arm <laughs> Championships. Yes, they're, they're pretty strong in the able, able um, people, I suppose. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, they are very, very handy players. Oh, I missed that. Was it just one? I think it was just one. Wendy's yeah, matching the score for us here. A couple of close games going on. Seven all with the boys after eight. It's always going to be a close battle between Baker and Anderson and their partners. Yeah, it was just the one there, Kelso. Looks like they're changing tactics here. A bit of a T to T length end. You know, they started off just playing like a three-quarter to longish. You know, just the mat was only up like maybe a couple of metres and the jack was maybe a, t a metre or so off the tee. So yeah. now they've gone full length. Full length. Yeah, I had the uh, pleasure of playing with Julie and Caitlin in our fours here and T to T was a bit of our tactic that got us all the way to the semi-final. So nice to see them bringing it out for this final match. We'll get to see a full blooded drive from the boys next door. Oh. Alright, it's all been 
touch That's bowls. Interesting, considering they've got probably four really good drivers over there. <laughs> Might be saving that one in the kit bag for a bit later on. So, Kelso, how long since you've played a Queensland State Championship here in your home state? Well, I was trying to work that out the other day when I was here for the triples final. I was in commentary with Wiz. Um, oh, we sort of had a bit of an eye. We sort of nutted out a little bit. I think we won the triples in 2005 or something like that. Yeah. I don't know, so it might have been a couple of years after that. Um, my first day? first year at St John's Park was 2009. Oh, so nearly 10 years ago. So yeah, yeah, I reckon that would have been yeah 2008. Probably would have been the last last time I played up here. <laughs> Do you think you'll ever see a return to the maroon jersey? I think so because I definitely can't. <laughs> I can't see us living anywhere else. No, we're um, pretty blessed here. Yeah, aren't we? we love the lifestyle up here, and it's a, you know it's going to be a great place to. To bring up the key, well, kid at the moment. <laughs> Not plural, plural yet? <laughs> Not yet. No. And uh, yeah, definitely love playing bowls up this way as well. And um, Andrew and I have really enjoyed playing here at Helen's Farm. Just lucky that it's also our closest club as well, so that worked yeah. out quite nicely. It was kind of a no brainer for us to drive less than 10 minutes to get to bowls on the weekend yes. for Premier League and things like that. So pretty much next door neighbours, aren't we? About 1,500 metres yeah. away, we've worked out our homes. <laughs> yeah, and um, uh, we really like the sort of, uh, so, so many of the players here have all got young families as well, so when we come to bowls and we bring Sienna and she's always got heaps of kids to play with, um, so we yeah, really enjoy that side of it. So yeah, definitely can't see us ever leaving Queensland. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter of um, how much longer I can withstand the travelling to and from Sydney. Yeah. Well, they look after you pretty well, St John's Park, don't they? They're yeah, I've got a great relationship there. with St John's and, yeah, well, like we said, been doing it for 10 years, so almost on long service leave. That'd <laughs> <laughs> be a pretty good payout, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've, um, yeah, we've had a little bit of success over the years and met so many great people down there and, um, yeah, and, and really enjoyed playing for New South Wales as well. But, um, yeah, definitely see myself finishing out my career up here in Queensland because um, I definitely don't bleed blue, that's for sure. Yeah, that's <laughs> lovely to hear. <laughs> Maroon at heart. <laughs> so, uh, girls a little bit scattered on this tea to tea length end. Heather's got a couple of yellow ones close. Heather had a really great uh, mixed pairs game with Eric Johannes the other, other week. Mixed pairs state semi oh no final, final I think yeah. yeah yeah lost to Aaron and his mother in law played very well in that game as well she's been playing pretty good here she's never really left Wendy in too much trouble there's only been one end just before you come in when uh, Wendy was we think she was probably five down playing her last bowl oh wow uh, but you know in fairness their bowls weren't scattered or anything like that it's just the way it, it yep. sort of worked out and um, Jules and Caitlin just nailed it yep. and um, she played an absolute scream with the last one and tried the jacks as so. she can do I think that's a, the you know I, I remember when I was sort of learning to skip a little bit back in the day and one of my coaches was saying as a skip you know it's good to add and cover but if you can play two or three really big bomb shots in the game really big game changes um, that's what it's all about sort of thing so when you yeah, five down and draw a shot or you, you make a number yourself um, that can really do the damage I guess as a skip so if you have games as a skip where you can feel like you're in the area all the time like you're you're not far away, you're not spraying your balls anywhere, you're getting within a metre or so each time and you're just missing the jack and you can feel like nothing's happening, but you, you, you're you in the area, so you're not dropping numbers and things, but yeah, like you said, if you can just play a couple of big ones, yeah. you know, all those ones that you only just miss mean nothing then, it's all about the ones that you do play. Yeah, so true. Here comes Caitlin, Julie's quite interested, needs to get down onto it, oh, there's a hole, went through a little gap there. Good to see a few of the Bordy uh, club mates have come out in support. So uh, we've got a fair few down in the tents down there. So having two uh, finalists out there and the boys and the girls is pretty good. Our local rivals of the Broad Beach Bulls, but we're good mates off the green as well. So it's nice to see them out there. Hole as well. I wonder 
Yeah, what, Dave, you don't know what size bowls or anything they got. You know those with the sticks these days, they can hold really big, big size bowls. And I think I remember playing them. I don't know if it was these two or, or a couple of other ladies that had, I think, fours or fives. And oh, wow. just getting up there through the head and getting jacks, and they play really well. But obviously a lot harder to hold a size five than um, to use the arm for one. But another hole there for Caitlin. <laughs> Sometimes those yellow ones look really big as well. Quite deceptive. Aussies are using yellow bowls now. You'll see a fair few of them have changed. I know Yulene's have got rid of the purple. My purple people eaters, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had purple for about 15 years, I think. So. Oh, hey, that's nearly you. Close. Yeah, so the purple ones were due for a re-stamp, so I thought it was a nap time to retire those bad boys and, yeah, brought out a yellow set and uh, obviously the Hawks are a green and gold colour club, so it's nice to have the yellow bowls and I'm uh, very happy with my little Taylor SRs. They're very similar to my last set as well, which is nice. And, yeah, should be good fun getting out there with a little Team Yellow, Team Australia. Oh, thanks, Nat. She's uh, chimed in here. The yellow is a size 3 heavy. Play them in the sectional. So there you go. A bit of information for everybody tuning in. Did they get as close as she's going now, Nat? Obviously, because they're, <laughs> they're still out there. Uh, and she, again, did very well in the mixed pairs here. Okay, I'm looking interested. This needs to hold now. It's going to go just under, but is it going to stop? Yeah, it has. Nicely weighted there from Julie. Again, talking about that, those pressure bowls, probably two, two or three down there. So it was a, a big bowl in the grand scheme of the match. There's only one the difference in the overall is seven ends down. A third of the way through the game with 21 ends in this pair's final. Sneaking in the back door. Jules has done well here. She's still only drawn a shot, but she's tucked it away mm. behind those short ones, so a bit hard to get at. I wonder if he needs to just do more, depending on what this one does. Another clap here from Caitlin. It mustn't be too far away. Great bowling, Julie. A bit of vintage form there. <laughs> former Australian representative, former world champion. So, do you say former when, I mean, she's always, I guess, going to be no, a world I, champion? Well, I, yeah, no, I reckon just world champion. World champion, yeah. yeah. You can't, other people can become world champions after you, but you can't ever take that away from me. That is very true. Some good times then, Kelso. In 2008, yeah. we would become world champions there in New Zealand, Christchurch. Not handy too to Julie Keegan and Caitlin Inch. We see that long tactic again, pay dividends at end. Yeah, so, so on the right next door, Kevin Anderson was playing with a bit of weight, so that's definitely going to be Baker's orange bowl on the jack then. They've both got the orange Jade and Bakes, have they? Are they both? Uh, Bakes and Kevin are both using oh, orange. Okay, yep, we we'll see. I remember you, Kelsey. I think you one of your first sets was more in vectors, I think. Yeah, I've still got them. I um, took them overseas um, and used them in Scotland. And yeah, I've still got them because they were the first, you know, I had to save up for ages and ages to, to buy <laughs> them. <a> set. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they blasted you onto the international scene <laughs> back in 2004 or five, I think. They were going great guns until I had to play on the indoor. <laughs> <laughs> take three weeks of grass. <laughs> <laughs> then all of a sudden, I remember Ian Shubank saying, uh, I think you need to start considering another set. <laughs> okay. Very handy start there from Caitlin. Always good to get the first one on or round about the jack. Really put the pressure on. Makes a big difference. We've noticed in, in playing, you know, we don't play too much of the two or more pairs these days. We play a lot of three-ball pairs, so 
the last couple of days we've noticed if the lead can really get on with the first couple of bowls, it makes a big difference to the to the way the end plays out and the scoreboard in the end. So very important role, the lead. And I reckon the players out there playing in the final will be really feeling it in their legs too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A lot of these players have played probably the district championships and then the mixed pairs, the triples, the fours, now the pairs, pairs and a heck of a lot of walking. Yeah, that's a lot of walking and another singles to go Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So there should be some more really good games happening. We've got the finals here again at Club Helmswell Sunday. The quarterfinal, semi-final and the final for the men on Sunday and the semi-final and the final for the women. We've got Alex Meta, always loves a bit of a punt. He's uh, said the floodgates are about to open here, Keegan, to win 25-7. Now that's a very big call considering the score is 5-4. So uh, stay tuned, Alex. We'll see how on the money you are. Do you want to be really brave, Alex, and pick the, the men's? <laughs> Baker leading 9-7 after 10 in, so nearly halfway. It's probably pretty tough to pick that one. Mm. Interesting seeing Bester leading over there. I don't see him, I guess, too often leading, but it um, must be nice for him to have uh, Kevin come after him and play the big shot so he can just get his bowls on the jack. He's got one about two inches away and one about a foot away, so he's doing a pretty good job there. Probably nice and relaxed having a go at lead, I imagine. Yeah, you don't get to see him lead often, but I suppose he's such a good singles player, so True. you know he's yeah. going to, you know, he definitely doesn't win those big singles events by driving his opponents off the park. Very true, as we see uh, Wendy there pick up the jack, probably a little bit stiff to get it stuck on the back bowl. Looks like Heather's got the shot. a little quick. He used to run into something. Oh. <laughs> it's one of those where you're wishing, you know, like, quick turn, run into something, hit the jack, get the ball. <laughs> but at least you gave it a chance. There's nothing worse than sort of dropping a little bit short when you And then turn around in. and say, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> yeah. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> Good little tactic. Notice with these bowling arms, it's uh, really important to get it away quite smoothly. I've had a go a couple of times with them, they're not, not an easy thing to master. <laughs> so, well, full credit to these girls who are playing so well with them. I think it's great to see as well, you know, it keeps a lot of people in our sport that perhaps um, couldn't otherwise play. So, good to see them out there and playing very well. What have we got going on at the over 60s there, Kelso? We've got Louise Whitten, who's uh, she's sort of jumped rep and Yeah, jumped away a little bit. She's up 13 2 now. And she's playing with Brenda Thompson, who's another state rep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was in the Australian squad for a little while there as well. Yeah, I remember those days when we used to have the Grand Prix circuits and Brenda yeah. won a couple of. Grand Prix title, I think she might have won a singles title. She did. She won it here, I think, back 2004, 2005. Quite enjoyed those Grand Prix circuits. Yeah, they were good times, weren't they? Heading mm. around the country and getting to catch up with your mates from other states and play different sort of people. I sort of mentioned a little bit earlier with, with Michael about how there's so many tournaments that are just not played anymore. We were talking about... Um, the Richard or New Year singles that I won way back in the day, which sort of started things started for you, me, yeah. my career, and uh, um, other events in particular. I, I suppose I probably focused on the, on the women, but the Black Oakland singles is not played mm -hmm. anymore, and it just seems to be yeah a lot of a lot of things have fallen by the wayside. So, mm -hmm. so for me, the Gold Coast Winter Carnival back in the day was yeah, massive. Exactly. So yep. I had a, a year there where I won a couple and got runners up, and um, 
and that put me into into Australian position sort of thing as Caitlin plays the number one shot there. Very good. And to see that sort of fall over was, was pretty sad. But, I mean, the calendar is getting more and more busy with things, yeah. especially with the Australian Open up here and the state championships. Um, used to be in September, but they moved to May a few years back now. So it's a very, very busy time on the calendar. And he's looking interested. It's... Oh, yeah, a bit stiff there to, to hit uh, Caitlin's other blue one in for another shot. As far as internationally as well, there's a lot more events. Um, we've got, we're going to be going to the UK, so we went to the UK last year in July and again this year, and um, that's going to continue on for the next couple of years in the lead up to the next Commonwealth Games. We've got the you know Australia versus the world in November. Multi-nations. Multi-nations yeah. events are happening more frequently. So yeah, it's just the calendar is just, uh, and I know, I know I have to be really pick, you know, really pick and choose what I play mm. in. Um, you know, it's not realistic for, for me to play in all the club championships. Um, it's not realistic for me to play in all the district championships. Um, yeah. You know, and you just got to give up. You know, there's there's tournaments in the, here and there that you'd love to play in, but got to prioritise. Yeah, very true. Especially when you've got little one or two in my case <laughs> to yeah. sort of think about as well. So it is a bit of a juggle, but um, do what you can. Who have we got? Some, oh, Wendy's right in the camera. <laughs> we think this is a very handy home there. So that, the hospital is really like just Mr. the jack. Oh, that's Heather actually, sorry, in front of the camera. Oh, yep, she's heard us. <laughs> so Julie's finished in a, a really nice spot just behind the jack. She so was probably going to be a couple, two or three down if Wendy got this jack without the back one there, but it's on its way. Interestingly playing different side of the head to what I would play, but anyway, everyone, that's what I've found out over the years as well, you know, everyone sees the game very differently, whether it's your, your own teammate or the opposition. Um, and, you know, I was always told as well, you, you never play the wrong shot if it's the shot you think you're going to get. <laughs> so everyone be like, what? What's she going there? Um, but if she thought she was going to get it and she gets it, full credit to them. But hindsight's a good thing as well. <laughs> so a bit of an update. Looks like Bryce Stewart's up 8-5 over Kevin Deegan in the oh, over 60s yes. men's. Yeah, Bryce, we, he came over in the, in the lunch break and said he played a clanger with his last to, to win the semi-final. He needed four in the last end and trailed a jack about a foot or so to, to do so. As uh, Julie puts a little blocker in there. I think that was a bit of a purpose shot. So, yeah, Brian Stewart, he's played play for Australia, Kelso. He's been an Australian coach, one of our Australian coaches over the years yeah. in, when we went to India, I think. Yeah. So definitely knows what he's doing over there. Yeah. Great to see him out in the over 60 pairs. Bit of a legend in Victoria, but and then moved to New South Wales. Spent a long time in New South Wales doing a lot of stuff with their men's stateside coaching, selecting all, you know, very good here in all different roles. Oh, she's unlucky to get Caitlin onto their yellow one. Very good attempt. Three shots there to Keegan's crew. Alex could be on the money here. <laughs> Three ends in a row to Keegan and Inch. 8 4 now. On the right next door, Baker's now leading 10 7 after 11 ends. To give a shout out here to one, uh, Greenkeeper Lukey Wade. Uh, we've had a lot of rain here over the last few days and the greens were underwater for a little bit, but they look like they're running beautiful, very true, and a nice speed for good good heads and good bowls. So I think as a, as a player at the high end of the game, it's nice to play finals on some, some good quality greens. So thanks, Lukey and the boys, for providing this entertainment for us. In the opener there from Caitlin. We'll be doing battle with Caitlin soon, Kelso, in, in the New Zealand team she is. I think uh, been there for a few years now. So Asia Pacific Games coming up straight after the Australian Open. She's in a bit of good form, so we better <laughs> watch out back there. 
Very good preparation for her playing the Queensland State Championships. Got a lot of internationals residing here on the Gold Coast. So I suppose with the lead up to the Commonwealth Games, you know, a few extra sort of moved over and um, you know used the local domestic kind of circuit as a chance to practice for the Commonwealth Games and then knowing that the World Championships are only a couple of years later. Asia Pacific Games in a few few weeks and World Bowls next year, May 2020. Yeah, it helps it again, we were saying earlier, it's a beautiful place to, to stay and live and um, we've seen it with Bessa and the Scotty boys and a lot of people have uh, worked out what we all know, how amazing it is to live on the Gold Coast and play bowls here as well. I suppose it's not even just on the Gold Coast, there's a lot of a lot of players from overseas that live down in Melbourne or in Sydney and play at a lot of the big clubs down there. Yeah, I think we're pretty lucky in Australia that we've we've got clubs that can support their, their bowlers um, in, in any way they sort of can. A lot of other countries, I think, they just play bowls and their clubs are a lot different to Australian clubs where they can't really, I suppose, financially provide for their players. Mm -hmm. So we are very fortunate here in Australia to have um, some great venues. The men's over 60 score. Can we see that, Kelsey? I don't know. My eyes aren't too good. <laughs> um, it's now, now. Yeah. Oh, it's on the screen, yeah, sorry. So <laughs> we just won that end as well. So it's now 10 6. 10 6. Oh, I've just been told. Um, who's that? Michael. So the, the scores are on the screen. Right on top of things, here I am. <laughs> so the scores for the other three ranks that are being played at the moment are on the screens and they're being updated uh, as each end is completed. So hopefully you can see that up there. And Alan Law just letting us know Bryce did definitely play for Australia. Thanks, Law Man. You're right up with the uh, history of bowls in Australia. So Sean Baker and Jade, they're going for back-to-back -back titles, aren't they? That's quite impressive considering the equality players out there in the men's peers field, so that's right. And if they were to win this, they'd, they'd be favourites, possibly. I mean, they'd be right up there with a chance of going back to back in the Australian Championships as well. Mm. So they got gold in Marimbula last year. Did, yeah. Just overplaying it a little bit. Looks like Julie and Caitlin holding two or three on the head here. Still a fair bit of room though, so a good couple of bowls required from Heather on the crossover. are killing me with these orange balls. <laughs> yeah, we, we're not sure who's who. Either Kevin, Kevin or Sean's holding shot. Possibly two. It's funny that they're even a very similar hue of orange. Like you can't yeah. even tell the <laughs> different orange. It looks like maybe, uh, you can look really close. It looks like Kevin's might have dimples. And Bakes might not. Okay. So I can see. He was just running a little bit at the head yeah. there. So it must be Baker's orange one on the jack. Julie's giving this one a little tap. Very, very handy shot there. Very much required from Heather. Got lots of uh, chances here for Caitlin. So sit the bowl to make two or three or troll a jack. Same result. Just hopefully Julie can move to the left or right. Or not. And just hanging wide past the jack there. Not a bad home. 
Ever needing another one in the zone would be handy. All right, I'm out, folks. Enjoy the rest of the game. So we've lost Kelso there, but thanks, Kelso, for your uh, contribution. I'm joined here by the man himself, Brian Marshall. Hey, Lindsay, how are you this afternoon? <laughs> I'm great. Actually, I'd be greater if I was out there, oh, but this is the second best prize. Isn't it fantastic? <laughs> like, I mean, you look at the crowd, look at the beautiful running green. The whole place is just looking uh, an absolute picture and uh, oh, yes. got some great bowls we've got out there. Like, it's just absolutely incredible to watch. I've just been watching mm. it, sitting back enjoying it and... Every rink has just quality bowls from from all over the green. Just absolutely. Hopefully, the viewers are enjoying this. Yeah, it's a treat. Like, I think, like you say, being here, you get to see all four rinks in action, so you can check out what's happening over all four. But we're fortunate enough to have this one on one. show here. And Julie's yeah. two down at the moment, so she's uh, going to play this with a little bit of weight down to here. I think she may be just a little bit under a grass line by the looks of it. Get a straightener off this. Oh, she did Where as well. <laughs> Look at that. No lucky bowls, Lindsay. It's pure, pure skill getting something like that. Yeah. That is just absolutely incredible shot. You might be thinking, gee, I'm unlucky. I'm still one down. Still one down. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'll be pretty dirty on myself to put me one down after an incredible shot like that. I have worked out over all these years that there's luck. You get luck and you don't have luck. And it all, in the end, I think it all works out in the wash. Yeah, it? it certainly does, Lindsay. It yeah, is. Right. It's uh, just absolutely fantastic to watch these great girls yeah. showing us their skills here this afternoon. It's been uh, like this. Look wow, at that. and there's another little fortunate now one too. Probably, she could be three down now. See, much of a much of it. A bit of luck here, a bit of luck there. Could be three down. Yeah, she is three down. So there you go. Uh, it was, <laughs> it's could put a bit more pressure on Julie, but she's got the best backward there. She's got the two two best backwards, so she just plays over a draw here, Lindsay. She may get a, a, a result. So she's going for it. More, the false thing about it, she's not going to get a straight number. Oh, so she's got one out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, there you go. That's what happens when you try and get them clean. So. <laughs> uh, anyway... Um, do you think it's better to be good or lucky? No, I must prefer to get them clean if I can. But <laughs> at my age, this day and age, I take them any way I can get them. As I always say, you don't write down how you get them. You write down just how many you've got. That is very true. So we've got a um, Heather, of course, trying to add to her account. And uh, she's got a very well grasped. I think it's a drop. Just needs to drop a little bit. Yeah, what a beautiful try, though, eh? Just a little bit over. A two, though, gets them back on the board. Yeah, that's for sure. So Stop the uh, run of ends. I think Julie won about three or four ends in a row. row. Yeah, and so. that's, that's the beauty. Like, I mean, when you get to the finals, though, Lindsay, you'd have to agree. Like, I mean, you've got quality bowlers. They've been in great form because they've, mm -hmm. they've made the final. And really, you would expect close games, wouldn't you? Yeah. You know? and, and it's... Uh, like, I mean, as you know yourself, like, it's always nice to win, but I, I like to win the tight games instead of winning a few runaways, which, you know, yeah. to me, it's just better when you've got, you're playing, everybody's playing great bowls, and you'll come off the green, you won, and you play well yourself, so yeah. everyone's happy, mate. That's right. When you go home, you don't kick the dog, you just go <laughs> home and step <laughs> over the dog. <laughs> 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 anyway. Yeah, it is good to see some good finals. I think momentum's a big thing in these sort of events, so it's good that the Wendy um, could sort of stop the, the run on there and uh, yeah, no, it's, get uh, back in the zone. Well, that's the thing about it. Like, I mean, as you know, particularly playing at this level with this quality opposition that you're playing against too, you've really got to put the pressure on. And there's a wonderful bowl there. Um, Were you here for the final of mixed pairs, Brian? Did yes, you, certainly you, was. Yeah, it was a great, I was just saying, that was uh, Kelsey, before, what a great yes. final that was. It was absolutely fantastic. Heather and ball. Eric played really well, and Aaron and his mother-in-law only just getting on the last end. Oh, so. yeah, I mean, he got fed that night, young Aaron, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> like, mother-in-law was very happy. And, no, it was, a, it was a great game of bowls, and the triples was a great game, the fours was a great game. Yeah, we've been it's treated. Just, just been quality bowls, <laughs> and it's uh, just an absolute pleasure being able to uh, live stream it for everybody over Queensland, and you can see from the Facebook, there's people watching all over. It's just absolutely fantastic. So it's Eric from Zimbabwe. Oh, from Zimbabwe. From Zimbabwe. Hello, Eric. How and, are you? And Ron, terrific there yeah, for the arm bowls. That's just so true. Yeah, good day, uh, Brian. Great to have the live streaming. Thanks very much for that, mate. We appreciate your kind words. Mitchell Mears is on board. Oh. Gary Nordoff, how are you, my friend? Good, good oh, have you he missed, um, Brian, you missed before, so Alex Murtara has yes. predicted the floodgates were going to open. Julie was going to win 24-6 or oh. 7 or something like that. Oh. So uh, <laughs> stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're waiting for it at the moment, Alex. <laughs> the, the both the leads here are setting up beautiful-looking hedges oh, here. Great leading. Great leading there. Look at that. Two, 
Well, it just ran through. And that's what happens when the sun's out on the green there, Lindsay. You can just see then just a little bit of extra run there on the yeah, green. Yeah, so a nice finish, I think. Nice it is. Nice to be able to draw a shot. Well, it's not, it's not too quick to me. It's probably running around about 14, 14 and a half seconds to me, which is a great place pace to be able to uh, play your shots. You know? Yeah, like, kind. I mean, it's, it's kind. Yeah. You get a bit of bruise, you can still still draw or whatever. You know, I mean, I just think it's a very kind pace for everybody. Home safely. Good on you, Wendy. Glad to hear that. Joe Hutchinson, how are you? From Yamba, hope you're enjoying the telecast. Hi from Yamba, g'day mate. Lovely little spot down on the northern part of New South Wales. As we have Heather just playing her first bowl. Of course Heather, as uh, Lindsay just said, was in the uh, final of the uh, mixed pairs the other night with Eric Johannes and uh, it was a great game of bowls. And, um, yeah, that was Heather in the lead with the yellow. Yeah. This is Wendy. <laughs> oh, sorry, this is Wendy. I think you're That's okay. Yeah, it is too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. got you back there, Brian. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> You've nailed it, mate. Old age is starting to set in. I'll I, know, I know this one's Jurley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great try by Jurley. Just just ran through, but what's well, beautiful little home there for her anyway. So uh, yeah. I think with Jurley, you find she always plays a, a nice weighted shot. Like yeah. that's a good, you know, she yeah. misses but misses on the good side oh, of the weight. So she'll draw a shot or just hit a shot or just yeah. finish in a good home. Oh, that's ever so uh, true too. Very experienced player. Well, that's for sure. I like, mean, uh, of course, played for Australia in numerous test matches for uh, Queensland. Yeah. Same as you. Played, I played a lot, oh, a lot yeah. of goals with Jules, one of my great, great friends. Yes, so. I understand that completely, Lindsay. And, uh, it's really great to see, just look, just being around here this week and seeing the camaraderie between you girls also. Yeah. It's just, uh, you all get on so well and it's just a pleasure to, uh, to witness it all. Yeah, you know, we right? do. And it's good. I mean, even when we're against each other, we played Chloe's team in the triple yeah. final the other yeah. night, which we're also really good mates. mates. So that was, you know, we're yeah. mates off the green and rivals out there. It's Julie that's what, comes that's what it should be. What a great oh. ball. Oh, she's, no. she's gone from one down to one down. <laughs> well, cheeky giggle she's had there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that's for sure. G'day, Eric. Not a problem, mate. You're watching from Zimbabwe. I'll always say hi to you, my friend. Brett Wilkie's watching. Brett, oh, shouldn't you be doing some work? Uh, Gary Nordoff bagging for the Maggies. Of course you would be, Gary. Yeah, the boys were on the live stream this morning, Gary, so share it around a little bit. Yes, mate. Give you some updates while we can. Dave watching from Wellington. How are you, Dave? Hope you're enjoying the telecast. And uh, Jake, how are you? Hope you're enjoying the telecast this afternoon. There is some great polls being played here, my friend, and I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, in commentary with Lindsay Clark, got a lot of experience, played a lot of bowls with these girls, so it's <laughs> great to have some inside information on uh, what hand they like, what weight yes. they play. Eh? Yeah, I know, what, like I was just saying, Julie and Caitlin were part of my fourth team this year, and yep. I played a lot with them and a lot against them, and I haven't seen too much of, uh, of Wendy and Heather, but uh, they seem to be going very, very well, holding their own, and yep. winning the State Fours, obviously, last year, so they're yeah. definitely up for this game. Oh, they definitely have, that's for sure. Julie Allen, good to have you on board. I've got some bad news for you, Julie. Robbie did not have a pie for lunch. He actually had a roast dinner. So there you go, Julie. <laughs> yeah, Jake, in your opinion, are SRVs good bowls? Hi, Jake. I'm actually a tailor girl myself, so I do have a set of SRVs. But um, I, for me personally, they're a little bit um, on the tight side. But if you like a, a tight set of bowls, then they're pretty good. Um, I've got SRs, which are a really kind uh, sort of arc. Uh, pretty good on all surfaces, really, and nice draw, but they hold a good line on the runner as well. So I do find bowls are very much a personal choice. You know, oh, some people really love a, a tight set. They go yeah. you know, up the line. Some people like to draw a shot. Yeah. I was a bit old school, I guess, coming up in the early 90s, but with the well, old... Um, I remember those days. I'm sure I'm <laughs> <Taylor> you, <Ray. laughs> but I, I remember you were in the same... Um, Junior development squad on the Gold Coast is my son. That's then. correct. So, uh, back in the day, <laughs> we go back. We go back a long way, Lindsay. We really do. We won't say how far back. No, no, no. <laughs> we're keeping some keep things quiet. That's for sure. But no, when it's been a see, one of the great things that I've got out of this great game of ours is seeing. I, I saw, you know, like Jamie Anderson. I played junior senior days with my young bloke against these guys, like Gary Nordoff and his son Jamie Nordoff, and. Mm -hmm. uh, I can go through a name like uh, young Dean Jones used to play with his father Craig Jones and all these kids. But to watch you grow up and, and see the way you've matured into fine mm. adults and being absolutely ambassadors for our sport has probably been one of the pleasures that I've had with, this, with this game of ours. You know? Yeah. But uh, it's, it's just a credit to all of them. And when you see like the Gold Coast team plays in the district sides or you see the Queensland team going away, 
they're just a great bunch of sportsmen that just really enjoy each other's company, you know. There's, yeah, there's very never true. much garbage, you yep, know. What I mean? it's very just true. And compatibility is huge I think, in any sport, I think, but bowls as well, you know. If you've got a really great group of people that get yeah. on. Um, see things the same, are encouraging with each other and none of the negative, no, you know, that's ne- negative so talk. So. Well, that's the unfortunate thing we do get sometimes in lawn bowls. We do get a little bit of negativity, which is unfortunate because uh, there are a lot of good volunteers around and sometimes mm-hmm. we do get things wrong. And when we do, we normally say, hey, geez, we made a mistake there. But uh, there's no need to be criticised. Like it's a bit like telling a person they're a metre short. There's no need to tell them they already know. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I have found that some, the ones that, you know, maybe are most negative probably don't help out at all. So, you know, if, you, if you're helping out and doing your best, you know, you can only expect that from your volunteers. So, That's so true. Uh, very grateful for everyone that, that uh, does anything for their clubs or their districts or their states. Geez, we've got a beautiful head lined up down here, though, as Julie uh, Wendy just played her first bowl. And very very sensible she went around the back there for a bit of colour. Uh, cover because I, I, Julie's one down on the head and she's got a very good second. But I don't think she can really attack this too much. I think the shot she'd have to play is on her back end coming down to try and get hold of um, Caitlin's blue bowl there on the run. Yeah. I think, because any other way, if she took out her shot, she'd be probably three, possibly three, maybe four down. So I think she's just got to play this just a little bit of control. So uh, she's got to let it go now. So it's coming down the green. We're seeing some facials. Here we go. Is it up? Up, 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 up. Oh, oh no. What she's a touched great bowl. Still just down, but probably a better setup for her, her last bowl, I think. Well, I think so, there. Yeah, but see, there once again, though, she can't really attack it because she's got nothing behind. I mean, if, if she hit Kitty and didn't stick with it, she could be three down. Yeah. So, I think that's a bit of a dangerous shot there. True. And a bit of a dangerous shot there, Lindsay. I think you'll find that, I know, she, again, a very experienced, so sometimes you've got to take the medicine when, yeah. when things can, you know, you've got to... Um, about like the risk. One down is good. Yeah, one down is good. You know, good. people might get a bit excited and try and get short all the time, but when you can possibly go yeah. four or five down, what looks like if she gets the jack anywhere near where Wendy's yeah. putting this last bowl, well, it could be very scary. Well, that's, yeah, that's a very good uh, bowl there too by Wendy. By uh, what I call not fattening the target, where if mm. you look for another shot there, which is pretty hard to get another one, mm. but if she fattened the target, would make it very attractive then for Julie to smack it. But as you said, one down sometimes very, very good. Chloe Stewart watching. G'day, Alan Byder. Great to have you on board. Kerry Cattell and Ryan Chapman from Go Team Taylor, you're saying. Okay. So I see Julie's just playing this with a little bit of control here, Lindsay. And she's got it pretty well yeah. pointed. Just depends on upon her weight. Nice and easy. Needs it good. Oh, That's well. a great shot. Is it <laughs> make the shot or not? With Caitlin not really saying. I think she's still one down a little... Smirk, I'm not sure. They're still having a pretty good look. <laughs> Might be an umpire's job, is it? We've got a couple of good umpires on duty. No, oh, I think they are calling an umpire by the looks of it. Um, yep, they've called out the umpires. Mm. So that was really nicely weighted there by Julie. Nothing much could, could go too wrong there. Just nicely weighted into uh, Caitlin's bowl, or if she was under that, she could have drawn it herself. So played, played it absolutely beautiful, didn't she, Lindsay? Very she, nice. As I said, like as we said, ladies and gentlemen, she couldn't attack the head because she had uh, four best backward bowls were against her, yeah. so she just had to play it with that beautiful controlled weight. Yeah, giving Julie and Caitlin a bit of time to have a chat, a bit yeah. of a laugh well, and relax. That's it. Well, what's happening over there on the men's? We've got uh, Bacon here in front, 12-7. Yes. Best is on the jack. I think the thing with Bester and Kevin, you know, they never die wondering, and they'll definitely fight to the very end, so that game's not over. We've got Louise Witten out to a 17-2 lead in the over-60 ladies' pairs final. Yeah, that's a bit of a runaway at the moment, but the uh, oh, it looks like Brenda Thompson, isn't she leading up so well? Our next member of uh, Helen's Vale Bowl she Club. She was, yes. Played for the state previously, but uh, had a bit of illness, and isn't it great to see a person of Brenda's capabilities coming back into this great game of ours. And the way she's performing, I was looking over there before, Lindsay, when I was watching across the head, and her bowl was always not far away. Yeah, she's... she's a lot like, of experience. A lot of experience, great player, real salt of the earth woman, just a, a really good girl to have around. And, yeah. and Louie's very similar. I said to that yeah. before they even started, we played them in the uh, triple, and I said that they've got a really... First time they've teamed up, Louise yep. and Brenda. Yep. Um, and they're very similar personality types, very oh, positive, okay. very supportive, and just fantastic. lovely ladies. Um, and here we're going over there with the far north Queensland boys. Have we, uh, They're hanging in, I think. Bryce Stewart's up 10-6 at the minute. 10-6, I think it's 10-8 now, by looks of it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
Yeah, there's two. Yeah, but still 10-6. I think they, yeah, they yeah, got two that end. Yeah, there's 10-6. Yeah, okay, there's 10 six. Yeah, Sorry, it is up to date. I beg your pardon. You know, just trying to tell some of our North Queensland viewers who are very uh, keen to know. Well, no, we're doing this game here, which is, uh, looks like it was one to uh, Wendy and Heather, by the looks of it. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who don't watch, know that much about the game, whoever wins the end then decides what length they're going to play. So uh, Heather's short in this length mm. slightly. It's uh, a shortish type of an end, I guess, Lindsay. It's, uh, they've been playing like three-quarter length for yeah. a bit of the game, so a bit I, of a change. Yeah, good and good to try it sort of a little bit early in the game. So we're only halfway through, I guess, now. Yep. Um, so good to change it up. The Julie and Caitlin were going tee-to-tee -tee and had some quite success on that, yeah, that length. So true. I have no doubt they'll go that length again if they win this jack back. Yeah, that's ever so true. We've got Sean Baker just running through the head over there. Jake's, Jake, Jade has uh, went out a big sigh, so I think he's just missed whatever he was going yeah, for. Yeah, lovely bowl here too from Caitlin, just running through just slightly, but... Uh, two good lead bowls there that can be very well used if you um, trail the kitty there, so... Chris Pice, of course, you'd be barracking for your North Queensland boys. Keep up the good work, Trish. You tell us, everybody tell us who they're barracking for. So hit those uh, like buttons, and if you want to know anything, just pass it through. Yeah, Jess Pickering tuning in. That's Julie's daughter. She was here yep. earlier, but she must have trotted off with a little one. Yeah. Uh, so the score's up there on the screen, Jess. It's 8 7 to Jules and Caitlin at the minute. So they're going pretty well, hanging in there. Yeah, that's for sure. 10 ends to go. Hey Roger, great to have you on board watching. Of course, young Kane Nelson. I guess is uh, young Kane's one of our up-and-coming young players. And we see Caitlin Lynch just play an absolute beautiful bowl there. Just uh, rested out shot bowl and um, took shot. Hey Tyler, go Kiwi. Is that right, mate? Eh? Young Tyler. Oh, Robbie Allen says, good choice, Tyler. <laughs> Like, is anyone out there cheering for the Aussies? What about go Aussies? <laughs> go, go Aussie guys. <laughs> yeah, got, so we do have a few different nations out there. We've got Canada, New Zealand, this is Australia. Right. It's fantastic, isn't it? So, <laughs> uh, it's all good. Go to Kiwi and Petrol. Petrol. Come on, Kiwi and North. Joke. <laughs> Good to see. Keep up the barracking. Barrack for your favourites and uh, let us know who you're barracking for and where you're from and we'll try and acknowledge you and uh, hope you enjoy the telecast. Proudly brought to you by Bowles Queensland. And we just received a message there previously, ladies and gentlemen, that there's some um, spots left in the singles tomorrow. There's been a couple of late withdrawals through illness and etc, etc, etc. So if you like to play in the state singles, which is a great opportunity if you miss the draw, if you miss the deadline and you like to play, please contact Bowls Queensland this afternoon and they'll try and slot you into uh, to a position that's become a vacant. But anyway, we're just watching this head here as it's setting up. Yeah, hopefully people get in. There's nothing. There's sections of three, so there's nothing worse than only having, having to play one game, game, you know, game for, the, for yeah. the day. So anyone that's keen, get your name in. Get your name down. G'day Amanda, how are you mate? Up at lovely Airy Beach. Oh, hey Amanda, beautiful spot up there. Yeah, Ryan, you no, been up there? No, I've never been there. Amanda's always going to invite me up to yep. go fishing. Yes. Up, so <laughs> every time I go racing out every day and check the mailbox and my God damn it, my invitation still hasn't come. <laughs> no, nah, great bloke Amanda, go back a long way with him. Remember Paradise Point days? He was Where back was in he? Paradise Had Point. a couple of games with Amanda. Yeah, he's a good lad. Ronnie oh, Cooper? Yeah, Ronnie, he was a... Very steady bowler too, Ronnie. I mm -hmm. remember we used to play Premier League from this club. He did, yeah. Yep. Took me under his wing a little bit yeah. back in the day. He actually played two when he was here. I used to come down and watch you people play Premier League. Uh, there's been some great bowls played on these greens over the years by some true champions. And uh, as all bowls clubs, uh, that's what it's all about, this live streaming, ladies and gentlemen, to try and get as much live streaming out there get into people that don't really know much about our great sport and uh, apparently there's a lot of people uh, starting to pick up on it and watch it from what I've been told. We've got a good looking bowl here just a little bit through the head. We've got a nice little pack of bowls there just behind the head. Yes that's for sure. We see uh, Ryan Besser and Kevin Anderson scored a couple of shots next door which is helpful for them. Uh, Gary Nordoff just telling you, I mean, Gary's obviously 
hasn't had much to do with late. He can't play much bowl, so he looks like he's been counting all the Kiwis. There's <laughs> probably, probably two to one Kiwis compared to Aussies on the Gold Coast. I'm not so, sure about that. Uh, I, I don't so, let the truth get in the way, Gary. Well, no, knowing Gary probably counted the same one all day. So. <laughs> we do have a very multicultural um, population here on the Gold Coast, which uh, is nice. Yes, you know? that is so true. Uh, a Gary, variety. Of course, Gary loves his bowls also, too, and he's uh, had a bit of uh, bad health of late, and it's uh, be great to see when Gary gets back on the green. So, as we see... Uh, we've got some supporters here for Wendy and Heather. Great to hear it. Yes, Jerry. Sure. John and Julie barracking for them. The girls are going very well. Hey, what's you from Dole? We lovely part of Queensland out that neck of the woods. Lawman, how are you, my friend? Whereabouts are you now, Wigan? Are you still overseas, still in England? There's Caitlin playing her next bowl. She's just going to try and drop under this, but she's just got too much of it. So he's got a little bit of edge of that. She can end up in a good home. So I think Julie will be holding possibly two shots there by looking at the head. Two or it's, three there. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty tight head there. So two girls are having a bit of a chin rag to each other to see what to play, Wendy and Heather. So um, anyway, Wendy's made up her mind. So it's it's, we haven't really seen Wendy attack too much yet in this game. I'm just wondering if she'd bring out a bit of a tack shot here or if just drawing's her specialty. Anyone out there that uh, know the, knows a bit about Heather and Wendy, how they start the game? Let us know. Do they like a bit of a drive or are they more a bit conservative? Yes. You're dead right, Brian. There's a lot of people cheering on the North Queensland boys here today and it's great to see them make the... the uh, over 60 pairs final for, for Queensland. It's a wonderful achievement by the boys, that's for sure. Chucky watching from Paradise Point. Maddie Bell. How are you, Matt? Maddie Bell. Where are you, Maddie Bell? He's probably at home having a uh, glass of staminade by now. <laughs> Very good member of our club here, young Maddie Bell, Dinger. Yes, he certainly is. Yes, he certainly is, so. Yeah, that's why like the uh, umbrella came down slightly there, Robbie. So. But what a great game of bowls, uh, Lindsay. Was 8 7, 11, halfway through the game. You, you don't get much better than this, do you? you know yeah. I mean? so. It'd be nice to see it stay this tight the whole way and come down to the last <laughs> end or something. It would well, be very exciting. Well, it hasn't been like that. Like, a couple of the finals have been absolutely outstanding. Crackers, yeah. They really have. And even this morning, like, I mean, to see young, uh, the two young Thai from. Long reach and play with Ray. Like what a great effort by the <laughs> young chap. He just made the under 18s. He made the semi final of this of the state pairs. Like what, yeah. a, what a wonderful achievement. And playing against um, Jado and uh, Sean, I'm sure he would have taken so much away from that game. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Um, you would have learned a lot and learned a, a lot about how they play and maybe he might add some of those shots to his game next. That's ever so true. Just nice ball here by Wendy. Bit. Yeah, just, uh, just holding out a little bit. So. A little bit of an insight here. Wendy is conservative but doesn't mind a drive on occasion. So yeah. I, there you go. Thank you for that. Uh, Julie just going around for a bit of cover here, I think, by the looks oh, of I it. I think she was trying to draw because that's the last bowl. Oh, was it? <laughs> last bowl there, Brian. Yeah, it was, there you <laughs> go. Cover, cover for yeah. later. <laughs> I was too busy watching the camera. Now, so. <laughs> anyway, it's all right. Um, yeah, that'd be right too, Gary. Roger Webb. Yes, Roger, I know New Zealand very well, mate. I've been married to a Kiwi for 35, 36 years, mate. <laughs> Trust me, I know the place very well. Thank you very much, Emma, for those kind words. Oh, Sean Baker, he's charged up there. I'm very happy about that one, that's for sure. Five, I think he's got a handful out, Jade. Sure. That is a very, very big turnaround. What big, a, one or two down. What an incredible bowl by Sean. Kevin, way, Kevin's he's not a, looking too happy. No, he's not, is he? <laughs> We've got Caitlin playing her first bowl here, ladies and gentlemen. She's got a beautiful line that's just pulling up probably around about three foot short there. Wow, that's a whole handful there. Sean Baker, what a cracking shot. A beautiful bowl there by uh, Sean. He's uh, really in form at the moment by the looks of it. Lindsay, the way watching him play some of those earlier games, and he just beautiful touch. Great touch, yeah, that was, that was fine for Sean. He's, I don't think I've seen him play 
not well. <laughs> no, He's uh, definitely got a lot of natural talent, that boy, and uh, won, a, won a few things over the, the years. And yeah, no, that's for sure. Does a great job there at the Vicky Point Magpies. Well, he's trying to pick up the uh, the Vicky Point. He's, he has built a very uh, formidable combination there too. Like, I mean, there's, uh, you know, I mean, I know they uh, haven't performed what his expectations are in uh, Premier League, but um, playing very, very, very well. Got a very good... Uh, Competition. There's all the scores there, ladies and gentlemen. They're all up to date, courtesy yeah. of uh, Robbie Allen. Uh, I think we baked with the Vicky Point guys. You know, they maybe this year or the last year they haven't quite got there, but it's definitely something that's going to build. Oh. I think, and Bakes is really good at um, creating that, uh, you know, that culture and that great atmosphere that other blokes just want to want to be part of. So, I um, agree more. yeah, I think a lot, of, a lot of good things happening there at Vicky Point. Yeah. They got a young junior girl up there. I think. It's going really well. Very I saw on the front young. cover of the, the yeah, Bowls magazine. So well. hopefully she uh, stays under Bakes' little wing and learns a bit off him as well. Jake, no. Um, Bakes is not playing with Ryan Bester. Ryan Bester's playing with Kevin Anderson. And Sean Baker is playing with Jado. And uh, Emma Boyd, great to have you on board, Emma. She's one of our young Canadians who have come out to uh, play bowls and... Uh, wonderful lass. She did some commentary for us down at the uh, PBA and it was very nice to uh, to uh, catch up with Emma and I wish her all the best in her bowling career. Uh, Shillo, how are you mate? He was lucky in the first day. Did he play you Shillo? What, yeah. What's happening there? <laughs> Julie, just a little bit short here. I think, yeah. um, you know, you never know with this game, that around that 3.30, 4 o'clock time, yeah. the edge just uh, goes off the run a little bit, Brian. It so definitely does too. There's hopefully the uh, girls will be on top of that a bit early. There's nothing, uh, it's true, the green slate here, and that's where you've really got to uh, concentrate a little bit more and just put that tad little more uh, weight on it. It's not as though it slows down incredibly, but uh, once the shade starts hitting the old tip, it does slow down, that's for sure. But it's... Uh, it's amazing the amount of night bowls we play on the Gold Coast, and everybody being a greenkeeper, and everybody wants to tell you, geez, the green was slow last night. You know, really? <laughs> Wonder why. <laughs> uh, keep those comments coming through. Julie, just a little bit of an overcorrection uh, there, going through a little bit. Hopefully, Jules is hanging in all right. I know uh, in the fours the other day she pulled a bit of a muscle in her legs. <laughs> She's played uh, three full days of pairs now. Just hanging in there, young Julie. Yeah, no, she's uh, playing beautiful bowls, that's for sure. So, uh, I mean, it's just, you know, I mean, do we even make the final though, Lindsay? It's a great achievement in itself with the quality of class and there's a beautiful bowl there. Great shot, Wendy. Yeah, yeah beautiful bowl there. And it's, you know, like, I mean, even to make the final with a class you've got to beat on the way through, mm -hmm. Lindsay, it's just uh, a wonderful achievement in itself. And, of course, once you get there, uh, nobody wants to lose. That's <laughs> right. So it's, it turns those competitive juices into uh, uh, very good to watch. Uh, That's right. Uh, someone said, you know, no one remembers second place, but we came second in the triples the other day, and my daughter thought that was fantastic. <laughs> so she remembers who comes second. Children, <laughs> children are wonderful when they're that age. Oh, I know. She they did, like, you know, you come high, you get off the green, or you're a bit down on something, and they're just so happy yeah. to see you, and it does put everything in perspective. So. It's ever so true. It is ever yeah. so true. Good yes. motivators they are as well. Yes, that's ever so true. Julie looking interested in this. Oh, just. Just ducking under with a bit of speed on that one, Caitlin. Needs to sit. No. Nope. Good backward there, though, for, uh, for Julie if she wants to attack later on. So I'd be looking. I mean, it was me playing at the moment. I'd be looking to get a close second shot. Yeah, I think I know. think that was the plan. I think so. Caitlin's one there. I think maybe just over playing it a little bit. They do have a couple shorts, so I probably yeah. wanted to be up with that one. But I think they will be looking for a close bowl at the minute. Nothing really within a metre from them. Wendy and Heather have got a three or four close ones here. Another one coming in. And another one here. Put a bit more pressure on him, like a, a uh, great draw ball there. Yeah. Really covered up the jack as well. Well, that's true, and it's going to make it very hard to get into now. You know what I mean? It's uh, you really got to play the perfect bowl now. The only thing you really do is play on that red one. And even there, I think from there, the way that kitty's positioned, depending on which way you hit that bowl, it's going to go straight out to the two yellows anyway. Yeah, well, Julie's calling a bit of weight here. It must look a bit messy, I think. It's Caitlin's, is she having a cry? What is she doing up there? She's having a bit of a look anyway. So no, she yes. picked the bowl up. Yep, no, she can see it now. Well, the sun's right in her eyes at the moment too, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
That's ever so too, Brian. There's no losers in lawn bowls. The game's for everyone. That's ever so true. Johnny North, good to have you on board, Big Johnny. Here we go. Ralph and Ralph. Ralph. She played this pretty well. Just, just needs some good result. Oh, it's very helpful. Well, That's she's a not, close one. She's not four down now anyway, so possibly three down. So. I think that was a good shot choice, Brian. You know, even though she didn't get the shot, she was going to clear a path, path or, yeah. you know, at least she gave it a chance and she now has ended up with probably third shot maybe. Well, that's where, so, I, that's where I think a lot of thirds don't take into into consideration when they drive Lindsay. A lot of them can see themselves playing the perfect bowl mm. and hitting the bowl out, but they don't understand is that if you don't get shot, you've got to clear the path for your skip. Yep. <laughs> and a lot of them is everything. I mean, there's one thing I learned in my days of skipping. I learned very early that uh, don't ask your third if you can see it. Ask them if you can hit it, and you get two different answers. <laughs> <laughs> very true. <laughs> well, it's true. I'm you. Yeah. I learned very early. Put another oh, one, put another the one area. in there. That's a great That's bowl great. there. Some yes. great shots. Really change up the That's angles there as well. Absolutely fantastic. Great, know. great draw shots there from the girls. Margaret White from Warwick. I hope you're enjoying the telecast, uh, Margaret. It's great to have you on board watching this great final we're showing you this afternoon on behalf of Bowls Queensland, which is uh, fantastic to be able to bring you uh, such quality bowls. It's uh, quite a quite a good crowd here too, Lindsay. Yeah, it's, uh, great pe to see people everyone sitting, yeah. in, enjoying the bowls and enjoying the hospitality here at Club Helensville. Where oh, drinks are cold sure. and that's food's good and certainly are. great entertainment out here. So Julie, not going to be short of this, I imagine. No, she's playing this with weight, so how's she going to hit? She's going to hit it. She's just going to miss it. Yeah. A lot of pressure on her there now. Like I mean, four down with one bowl to play with. Um, Mm. With uh, Wendy, of course, got uh, two bowls to come also. So, you know. Lindsay. When did I last win a pair of jewels? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're testing me now, Legal. Um, we've won it, I reckon we've won it two or three times together, but I can't remember when. And she flicked me. She <laughs> moved, to, moved to New South Wales and had did to. She? Yeah, we had a very successful record together, Jules and I, in fours, triples, and pairs. Um, won about, I don't know, seven or eight state titles, I think, together. Oh, well done. Um, but, yeah, then she left. Yeah. Oh. oh, she only got one left. <laughs> she could have actually got a pretty good yeah, result from yeah, that. Yeah, she just hit it too well. Area. But, uh, yeah, she went to New South Wales and played down there for a few years and then joined back, back up here a few years ago, won a state fours again together. Yeah. Oh, well done. But, um, we, yeah, we play a very similar style of game and we're um, really good friends, so we see see things very similar and well, I've been lucky enough to have quite a lot of success, which has been nice. As you've as you said previously, Lindsay, compatibility is a lot when you're picking teams, isn't it? You know, so true, mean, yeah. It's, uh, if you find that you just get on and that deal with someone. That is great bowling there. there. Beautiful bowl there, wasn't it? Is that a handful yeah. of things? They're right back in this game, new oh, leaders. Yeah. What great bowls from Wendy and Heather. Yeah, that was pick up four there by the looks of it. So it's uh, yes, you're right. New leaders should be eleven seven. Yeah, just great draw bowling there, Brian. Yeah, Goes a long way, doesn't absolutely it? Absolutely great bowling. Um, might be your side, mate. There's nothing wrong with our side, Naughty. So have a bit of a uh, bit of a look. It's uh, all coming through pretty good on our side, mate. So absolutely incredible bowls here, ladies and gentlemen. We have new leaders on the thirteenth end. Wendy Usher, 11, Julie Keegan, 10. So, very tight game. And uh, just saw a bit of a pick-up over on Sean Baker's rig also. Yeah, best friend Kevin got two back after dropping that five. So, yeah, nice. you'd like to score. Well, I think once you, when you drop in a number on an end, you'd like to score the next end so it doesn't yeah. feel quite as bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you drop a five and pick up a two or three, it only makes it a two or three in my head. That's what I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... Yeah, Sounds OK can. here. Thanks, Tim Phillips. Good to have Tim on board. Tim, of course, the hard-working uh, director of the Sunshine Coast. So, great to have you on board, Tim. Even if you used to play with Ramwick. Rugby Union, sorry. Rugby Union, right. <laughs> That's not my cup of tea. I'm rugby uh, league. No, I played Union game played by gentlemen like myself, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a game played in heaven, is that right? Uh, so I <laughs> Uh, I've never been able to follow it myself. Oh, played by gentlemen. 
That sounds about, about right for you, mate. <laughs> so we've got a lovely, uh, uh, just a little bit underdone, but very nice weight there from uh, Heather. So she probably have shot there with that front bowl, I assume. So we'll just have a look to see uh, Caitlin's next bowl. Yeah, a lot of bowls to come still. Oh, but in, in the zone, I think, you know, as a, as a lead, we were talking about the importance of a lead in this yes. sort of pairs game. You know, if you're not on the jack, you sort of need to try and set it up a little, a little bit. bit yeah. The thing that I was impressed about the other night in the uh, triples for Aga, mate, was young uh, Scotty DeJong. You could tell he wanted to play bowls because he couldn't wait to get down the head to pick his bowl up. Yeah. And you could tell he had confidence and yep. the spring in his step. Like, see, some people, when you sit here and you watch in commentary, you know damn well when their confidence down because of their body language. Yeah. Just their shoulders drop, their head, just little things. You can pick up being here. You, you can see the other night, Scotty was keen to get really down the other end. Yep. He just wanted to pick his bowl up and just and just play bowls, you know what I mean? And uh, I think it showed his game. Yeah. It's, when you're in good form like that, it's great to, to feel that way. You sort of feel invincible and you just, you're just just jumping at the gate to get out there. So yeah, I Scotty's done so well. I normally feel like that on a Friday night when I'm going to the fridge to get another beer. It wasn't pudding. But anyway. <laughs> Imagine if you felt like that on the bowls, Green Bryant. <laughs> oh, I used to. got to convert it over, mate. I used to years ago, Lindsay. My <laughs> days are over with you. I leave it for champions <laughs> like you these days. <laughs> and it's great to have everybody on board. Watching us. Uh, g'day Neville, I'm glad you're enjoying the game. David, how are you? Watching and um, Sylvia, Mark, Janice, and Trisha's back on air again too. In actual fact, um, Dale's actually watching from Dunedin, where our technical advisor was born and bred in Dunedin. Dunedin. He went to Otago Boys, and my wife went to Otago Girls. So there you really? go. That's there it. you go. I love starting rumours. <laughs> <laughs> Small world. Small world. Yes, it's ever so true. As we have Wendy here just playing playing the forehand, ladies and gentlemen, on this middle green at Club Hill as well. Played a pretty good one with the first one. Made a two, I think, over yeah, there. Yeah, looks at that. This Another is little promotion here. Lovely bowl there. She does play, though, the lady before was saying how she does draw. She, she plays lovely weight control, Wendy, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. either on the jack or just round it. No, uh, it's... Just uh, the back. Julie playing her backhand. Any promotion of her bowl there, Lindsay would definitely bring it back into play. So yeah, bowl she of the only needs to roll it just a couple of times. Just a little bit wide, that's all. But that was good weight for what she was after. Yeah, and it finished in a good home as well. So very good home. We noticed in that uh, couple of ends ago, she didn't really have any pass the jack, so couldn't play a shot. So yeah. at least now with some backwards in, you can she, she can look at some things. Yes, that's ever so true. We've got Faye Whitaker tuning in. Hi, Faye Where yeah. are you, mate? Your girl needs you. <laughs> <laughs> Faye and Ray, really good mates with Jules and Michael Key again. Oh, that's great. Been good supporters and yeah. played herself this week. Yes, you did. Uh, it's great to see uh, Lynn Jeffrey. Hope you're recovering from your knee operation, Lynn. To see you enjoying it. And of course, Brett Clifford. Brett's a stalwart of the uh, Broad Beast Bowl Club these days. Great to have you on board, Brett. Yes, David, they are playing great bowls. I'd Another good one sure. coming in here. Beautiful bowl there. And a counter too. So. Cool. Very consistent, Heather. Like really good leading and, and in the third position, she's playing very well she's as well. Very so. well. And that's one of the biggest things that a, people, a, a lot of people, when they pick pairs combinations for, say, Super Challenge over the years, and of course now Premier Seven. Sevens and the Scepter to Lindsay, is that a lot of people... When they pick a pairs combination, they'll pick a lead to play lead in the pairs, and they'll lead up really well. But when it's time to play three, they haven't got those shots. The shots, yeah. You know? And this is where there's, uh, you know, I've seen it so often with um, with clubs where they'll pick a really good lead, but nine times out of ten they'll lose the game, even though they're very good at drawing. But they just can't play when you've got to disturb the head slightly or just mm. play through the head. or Yeah, it's something know. that might be good to practice, I suppose, in, in the lead-up to a Super Challenge, a Premier Sevens or an event like this. Maybe playing some different shots if you normally lead, but you're going to have to play third as well. Yeah, it's just, so, uh, it's just and this is where it's, that's so important when you're playing this combination to this type of class that you must be able to play lead as well as third, don't you? you very know? true, very true. You know, uh, We've got a good setup here now. Caitlin's right on the jack and they've got two pass. Yes, uh, any movement though, like if she plays it with nice weight, she could probably end up with a few here. Depending on how that bowl's positioned on the kitty though, 
because it could spring out. If it sprung out to, to the right, there's a lot of yellow. There's a lot of yellow out there. So <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be a little bit concerned. I want to have a bit of a look at that. I think it's really good that with this game, we know who bowls are who's with all the different colours. I was yeah. commentating before, and there was uh, some people had the same colour bowls, made it very challenging. Yeah, no, it's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Good wait there from Caitlin, just on the wrong side of the yellow, I think, but not wasted anywhere back there. Yep. That's a good bowl there, that's for sure. How many of the ends have they played, guys? Well, they played 13 ends, Gary. This is the 14th end. Yeah, just at the top of the screen, Gary. You yeah. can see that. 11 to Wendy. Yes. 10 to Julie after 13 ends. Tim Swanson, good to have you on board, Tim, and good to see Sue McKenzie get up after a nanny nap this afternoon. <laughs> it's always great to have uh, Susie on board. Yeah, the boys are flying next door. The Bakes is up 17, 13 on 16 ends, so... Oh, sorry, the guys. I beg your pardon, Gary. They played 16 ends. I do apologise for that, mate. Get to my age, mate, and the sun starts going down. My eyes, I uh, <laughs> really need something a bit bigger. Oh, Trish, I can remember when everyone had black bowls. Eh? <laughs> They're such challenging days. <laughs> yeah, I loved it with the old standard bowls. <laughs> they were good old days. Good to have you on board, Dean McWinnie. We got, um, tactically, you know, all these players are very smart. So, Caitlin and Julie just discussing and coming back here between these yellows, all these yellows. There's all the yellow maroons well, out there. I think that's what stopped them from playing that shot, Lindsay. Mm. Like, I mean, sometimes when you got shot, it's good to change their head. But just looking where um, Caitlin's got her foot there, obviously exactly what you said. Look at the amount of uh, y yellow there. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, that blue bowl's position where the kitty would come out to straight, the right-hand side. Straight to where Caitlin's standing, I think. <laughs> yeah, and if that did, they'd pick up uh, one, two, four shots. Yeah. Possibly five. So, uh Ooh, maybe Jill's putting in a bit of a blocker there. I mean, it's probably, yeah, you can still get a moving off that maroon bowl there, Lindsay. You got the inside of that maroon bowl, yeah. you can still get, uh, still get it. So, it's a good shot here for Wendy. It'd be interesting to see how much weight she plays with this, Lindsay, because yeah, she has got a couple just, of options. Yeah, just over the drawer, I yeah. think, here. Yeah. Just needs to pop it. Yeah, that's all. Is it going to turn? I'm not sure. If it's She's pretty close. Oh, oh, that's a very good job. Of yeah. Oh, Still one down. Yeah. Well, I think Julie's really got to add another friend in there this time. It's the last bowl no phone again. <laughs> no. Oh, wait, yeah, okay. <laughs> There's no more bowls. I'm getting excited. <laughs> They're declaring, They've I think. they declared it. Julie and Caitlin pretty oh. sure it's one. It's a bit scary there for oh. Julie to try and get, get another one in. So one's good fishing. It is good fishing. Get some of the jack back. That's ever so true. They can dictate. Play their length. Hey there, Link. Uh, well, I actually looked up and I thought she had a uh, bowl on the bank, but now I see it's a yellow jacket sticking off the chair. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought it was a yellow bowl. Oh, so dear. Bit there of a is. worry, Brian. Bit of a worry. Well, I've spent 18 years in the front row. I never said I was smart, OK? <laughs> As we have uh, Caitlin throwing... Um, well, she's got the kitty halfway up the mat, ladies and gentlemen, and she's throwing to the team, okay. so... Uh, Something yeah, different again. Yeah, about three-quarter mm. length, so... You know, normally when you throw a bit long, if you can nail it, it puts the pressure on the opposition straight away, doesn't it? You know what I mean? It's uh, most important to uh, concentrate on this bowl and get one close. And she has. She's watching this very intently. Very well grassed down here, Lindsay. It's coming to a yeah. beautiful home too. Great start from Caitlin here. Right on top of it. Yeah. Very good opener. Pretty much perfect for your first bowl as a lead. Absolutely. Can't see the jack and right online. No, absolutely perfect. Paul Ryan, great to have you on board. Wakey, wakey, Brian. Yes, Mr. Law, I'm hearing you. Pauline, how are you? Had you joined the bowls? Ralph? Yeah, time for a run dead right, Law, oh, man. <laughs> great, beautiful, beautiful great reply, reply, yes. Beautiful reply there. That's pretty much as good as you can play as a, an opposite lead when your lead puts one right on it. Just oh, behind, absolutely right beautiful. on the line. Beautiful bowl there, that's great for sure. Display. Well, you can tell that their grass line is just absolutely spot on, isn't it? You know what I mean? They're both straight straight on the line. So, And Caitlin's played this pretty well again, too, just quietly. Looks to be coming down just... Uh, just going to pull up a bit short. Yeah, but what a beautiful yeah. bowl there, though, too. Yeah, stop them coming in on the backhand. That's for sure. Got a measure going on over there next door. 
Hester and Anderson's picking up one. Yep. So they're reducing their gap now. They're trailing Sean Baker 17 15. 17 ends. Very exciting. They'll be finished pretty soon. Absolutely. Three of the head of the girls at the minute. They're flying through it. Obviously, very quick players, all those four boys. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you keep telling us who you're barracking for, ladies and gentlemen. Keep those comments coming through. It's great to have you on board. Hope you're showing this, enjoying this uh, great coverage. So tell us who you want to see win. So got, uh, Julie going to the, uh, the mat. I think Julia will probably just be trying to get parts with her first one or one of her first two bowls. Well, she can play that either hand, really, yeah. too, can't she? She's going to play the backhand by the looks of it, Lindsay. So she can uh, work off Caitlin's bowl even or just come around, as you said, and split these back two, which would be a pretty good shot. Or uh, well, she could probably pull up short. <laughs> that was plan yeah. C. That's, <laughs> that's one of my favourite shots, that it must be, because I play it quite regularly. That's a short one. And as I tell everybody, but I say, you kids have got no idea. You can't be knocked up if you're not short. <laughs> Come on. You see, been playing it wrong all <laughs> these years. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> you listen to Uncle Brian. You know, <laughs> We've got Wendy playing her forehand, ladies and gentlemen. She's got this very well not far away, is she? Yeah, she's got a very well pointed. Oh, that's a very, very good shot. That's a great bowl. What a great bowl there from Wendy Usher. Absolutely beautiful He's bowl. got number one with that. Yeah, absolutely. Just such good weight. Just, you know, trying to probably just trying to get another one close Close-ish. or the shot and yeah. play it to perfection. Particularly the 11 all, too, like the impressors on. So, absolutely beautiful bowl. Of course, Julie's changed hand, trying to uh, take the shot out. But she's going to sit his yellow bowl. It's a good bowl. Yeah. There you go. One so, past the jack now, which is handy. Which is very handy. Maddie Bell saying, what's Gatorade? Yeah, Fine. come on, mate. <laughs> you find your tune athletes drink their stuff all the time, Maddie. You know that. <laughs> mate, I said that three hours ago. Yeah, he's, he's a bit behind his time. Wake up, son. <laughs> <laughs> You're obviously watching the replay, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> Keith Farrelly, great to have you on board, uh, Keith. And uh, Pat, hope you enjoy the telecast. And Christopher. So Wendy's got this well pointed again, Lindsay, just a weight, like she's only a couple yeah. of feet short, 18 inches short. So. Not ideal there, it's more for, for the Broadie girls to work on, which well, it isn't, is, isn't, isn't it, great, you know? but... Um, the only thing there though, like I mean, if they got the inside of that bowl, she'd probably go close to taking out her her uh, blue bowl there, and that's the case, she'd drop three, so... Um, yeah, it's hard to say, it's, uh, she may have to just... I oh, know, if I was going to take that bowl out, I'd be playing the back end. I think it's safer. Would you now? I would. But you, this is where we, I was talking to Kelsey earlier. You and I, well, everybody sees the game yeah. very different. Yeah. So to me, I think there's a lot of chances on the forehand here. Yeah, but see, was playing. But see, I don't play the forehand. Though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great shot there. Sort of man. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a beautiful <laughs> ball, We did say as well, you never play the wrong shot, but you think it's a shot you're going to get. That's so. true. That's true. No, I like to their own. Caitlin played that absolutely beautiful. She played it with beautiful weight there. Yeah, lots of chances for her there. Yeah. Uh, absolutely gorgeous ball there. Yeah. Kevy Croslin tuning in, one of our good members here. Kevy and Lindsay Croslin. Yes, Hi, guys. Sure. Great coverage. Thank you very much, Christopher, for those kind words. Ben Slater, good. Hey, Ben, how are you going? Veronica Elliott, how are you, Veronica? Great to have you on board. Ben, of course, is a very uh, important member of our team. That's for sure. Ben is just going to hang a little bit wide there. Yeah. It's going to finish well if it stays up. Yep. It stayed up, so it's a pretty handy bowl there, that's for sure. Um, Jill's calling for a change of hand now. Swapping back to the backhand. Well, she's got a couple of options there, isn't she, on the backhand? Yeah. Now, isn't she? So. Promote her own, off finish yeah. in a good home if she's just up and about a bit. See what she's played it pretty well too, just like to run up, up, up. Just a touch shy, but in the zone. Absolutely, yeah. It's come to a very good home though, hasn't it? Again, it's a very usable bowl there, Lindsay. Usable, yeah. <laughs> Your specialty. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Of course. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, sorry, Brett, we can't show you both games, mate. We're doing this one for yeah. Bowls Queensland. So Got an attack on here. No, yeah, just, just wide. Uh, we can't do both games, mate. We can only do one. Down the track, you never know. We might be able to do quite a few, but we've got uh, we've got another couple of cameras on order, so you never, never know. Never know. Good to be able to see one and, and hear what's going on on the other rings. Yes, no, and see scores good. on the screen as well, Brian. I think that's um, really good as well. well everyone, we're very everyone grateful. supporting other... Other people that are here that can't be here at the venue watching. And that's ever so true. It's, uh, it's great to be able to keep everybody up to date on the scores, and we have uh, hard-working members of the Gold Coast District running around getting scores, writing them down, and coming uh, giving them to us. So it's uh, it's been a team effort, that's for sure. And of course, we cannot forget Robbie Allen and his binoculars. <laughs> He's just about to check out the scores <laughs> once again. <laughs> He's doing uh, a very good job. He certainly is, Lindsay. He certainly is. As you see the uh, game there between uh, Sean Baker and um, Kevin Anderson starting to tighten up slightly now at the business end. So uh, still uh, a few ends to go there, ladies and gentlemen. As Julie's playing her forehand. Just got to keep off this maroon bowl. Yeah, he's just going to hang around. Yep. Yeah, just around. Just Caitlin takes a little yeah. breath in. <laughs> 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 Which helped her immensely. <laughs> uh, that's a lovely bowl there by uh, Julie's. Very good home, so. I mean, if uh, Wendy happens to slice the kitty or that, because I'm sure she's going to play through the head with his bowl, that would be a uh, very good home for uh, Julie. She still needs one right at the very back, though, because uh, Wendy does have the backest yellow bowl. They're looking interested. It they? is, isn't it? It's looking very interested. Just needs or. Oh. I can't quite see what's... Oh, she's snuck in there with a, a lucky right. result, if you could say that. Um, I suppose was in the zone and had pretty good weight. But again, you need those sort of things to go your way when you win, when you're going to win these matches. Sometimes they work for you and sometimes they don't. So when you're playing, you've both got two quality teams there. I think uh, you just need things to go their way. Thank you very much, Veronica, for those kind words. G'day, Maggie. Good to see you watching oh, from Dolby. Yep, and Julie's played a great shot there. Oh, beautiful bowl by Julie. Lots of, lots of chances, lots yeah. of bowls in the head. One, possibly two there, Lindsay. Yeah, it looks like two, I think. Like two, doesn't it? So, um, Heather just asking for a bit of weight there. Obviously, uh, I'll, we need to play through the head slightly. So. Playing her backhand. Uh, could be a little bit wide. I oh, no, she's got pretty good weight on this. So it's just going to hold. Oh, oh. Just going to hold. It's a very fair effort there. <laughs> Certainly was. Looks like two from this angle. Thank you very much, Brian, for those kind words. My audio is very low. Well, sorry, Christopher. That's, uh, that's pretty good on our side. Yeah, Gary, don't feel like a pup, mate. I reckon whoever came up with the words. Yeah, two there to Julie and Caitlin. So it gets them into the lead again. I mean, a topsy-turvy game, this one, Brian. Well, it is. It's a very uh, tight game, as you'd anticipate in the final. So Julie and Caitlin are just going to have a bit of a team talk in the middle here. So no oh. doubt, I don't think they'll be talking about what's on special at Kmart at the moment <laughs> or anything, Lindsay. I think what's for dinner? What's for dinner? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they went back to that tea to tea link then, but... Um, well, they were having a bit of success. They did, that, three they in a row. So I'm surprised they didn't throw that just then, but... Yeah, yeah. We'll see what, see what they've come up with anyway. They've obviously uh, decided what they're going to do. Matt back. Yeah, Caitlin has taken the map back and Julie's walking back towards the tea. So I think you have nailed yeah. that one, Lindsay. Wow. Well. I've been around a little bit. Yes. <laughs> I do know these girls <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I, uh, I find it very amusing. Like I played bowls in the pairs the other day and I played with Kerry Green who had this uh, uncanny knack and me playing with standing where he wanted me to throw the kitty. I said, mate, just get out the road. <laughs> <laughs> just get it between <laughs> the two orange bags. You're off to a good start. <laughs> I said, mate, come off it. <laughs> 
So anyway, we've got a beautiful bowl here by uh, Caitlin, very well grassed, maybe just a little bit runny, but a lovely start. Yep, as a skip, Jules was pretty happy with that one. Yes, as you would be, just uh, possibly about oh, two, two and a half foot through the head, but again, grass line absolutely spot on there once again, Lindsay. So. Yeah, and it's good, I think, when you get your first one past, you can just, then just focus on getting yeah. one, you know, drawing a shot. If you're a bit short with your neckline, it doesn't matter because you've still got one still past. Got one so. past. Yeah, that's yeah, so it's true. pretty important, that first one, up and about. Uh, that's for sure. But, um, the two leads have actually fact have led up very well. They've actually set these heads up. Yeah, they have. Very, very actually, well. Actually, all four players have been playing really, really well. Very yeah, consistent. Well, here's a lovely bowl here. And, uh, a couple of big bombs from the both skippers yeah. when, uh, when they've had crucial moments in the game. It's been, uh, it's been a pleasure to watch Lindy, that's for sure. And uh, to keep these comments coming through, ladies and gentlemen. Lawman. Matty Bell said he's uh, waiting till he got home with a responsible alcohol consumption. Responsible and Matty Bell. Yes, mm. very responsible. Matty's a good lad. Keep telling us, uh, ladies and gentlemen, on uh, who you're barracking for. Mel Robbo's got a comment to you, Liz. Hi, Lynn. Telling the coverage by commentary to you. Aha, thanks, Mel. So, so fortunate to be able to watch from sunny Moama. Love, love Moama, her sister-in-law down there and her young right? family. Got to say in Echuca, actually. They live in Echuca, but beautiful part, beautiful part of Australia down that way. Yes, that's for sure. As we have um, Heather playing two nice bowls there. I don't think shots being played there yet, though. I think they're a little bit, uh, probably a couple of feet away. So knowing the way this... Uh, these four have played. I don't think shot has been played. So uh, yeah, a good spot there though. I think we can for Heather just to cover those two of Caitlin's. Yeah, a little touch on the jack from Julie yeah. would have been three down for sure. Yeah, so uh, that's for sure. Yeah, good uh, lead bowls. Yeah, good nice. going. It's been uh, Julie just playing a forehand, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you, she got these absolutely beautifully grassed. Yes. Just going to be weight control. I'm just going to slip through by the looks of it. Little yeah. pile happening there. Oh, plan setting up a plan B. It certainly is. Hey, Jasmine, on the day of you enjoying the coverage. Michael Turner, how are you going, Michael? Michael Turner does some work on the greens here with Lukey and the boys. Certainly does, does a great job, the team here. Their uh, greens are running absolutely beautifully here this afternoon. Not too quick, just nice to be able to play your shots on, just a lovely pace. And Wendy just, just missing a line there, it's pretty nice there, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, pretty, pretty good weight for what she was asking. It's a game of correction though, isn't That's it? Dead right. Let's see where the next one goes. Uh, Julie, just you're gonna slip past that. Yeah, she yep. slipped past it. Back to Betty. Yep. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. As you said, Brian, I don't think it's close enough yet. These girls have been playing very, very well. Blair, no, I didn't have two boys. I actually won two games, mate, and uh, I realised that Blair is still. Blair Muir was a wonderful uh, lover of our great sport. He used to have a bowl shop out at Toowoomba, Lindsay. And, uh, okay. He came down to uh, Bow Desert to play in the two-day carnival down there. And unfortunately, one of the teams um, didn't turn up, so they asked me to put a bye team in. And uh, Blair, unfortunately, we beat him by about 29 <laughs> shots. He can't get over that he was beaten by a bye. The only person who has been beat by a bye. So. <laughs> That's pretty unlucky, though. <laughs> just... Pour your dad a drink and tell him to get over it. He will one day. <laughs> but will I ever give up on him? No, Stephen, I won't. And Blair knows that also. Uh, thank you very much, Paul, for those kind words. And uh, I'm glad that you're enjoying the coverage. As we have uh, Caitlin about to play her... Yeah, first Wendy bowl of the just missing a weight, I think, in uh, that last one. Uh, the, the, the long ends they played a little bit earlier when they got yeah, three ends in a row. I think right. that Wendy just missed it with her weight, so perhaps yeah. a pretty good tactic to go back to and try and get on this jack as a good bowl comes down from Caitlin. Oh, a beautiful bowl there by Caitlin. Yeah, sure. she's really wheeling it down. <laughs> good work. Yeah, well done. Listen to it. That's for sure. <laughs> oh dear. But 
uh, Heather just about to deliver her first bowl as a third. Again, again, like I mean, you look at that head there, Lindsay, and you look at their grass line. It's uh, it's not too bad as Heather's just cutting her grass slightly, but any movement on that uh, front yellow bowl would have been very beneficial. Mm, really lovely weight. That's for sure. Weight was absolutely beautiful. So we've got Caitlin up on the mat once again. Yeah, she'll be aiming to do the same thing twice, which is sometimes the hardest shot in the book. <laughs> Alzheimer's does get us early at times. <laughs> Lindsay, I can assure you of that. It is quite, I don't, I don't play golf really, but it's quite frustrating as a bowler. You can, yeah. you know, you do it so often or you can do such a good one and then the next minute it's so different. I, <laughs> I, I think, th how, how does that happen? I think a lot of it is, you know, I mean, these players, as you're fully aware, and you know yourself, you've played for Australia for test matches and you know what required mm. at this level, concentration level. Yep. And I don't care what anyone says, you can't be completely switched on all the time. And I think what happens at times, you just lack a little bit of concentration. What a beautiful bowl oh, there. Oh, wow. wow. Just, just, just out through. of shot, but a very good reply. Very good. And I think that's what happens a lot with yeah. you. Yeah. It's just that concentration level. It's just that uh, it's not as though that you're not trying. You, you just relax a little bit and you may just take your grass. It's, you may give your bowl a bit of a flick. There's numerous things that, uh, that actually creep into our game where you can just, you know. And then it becomes frustrating because then all of a sudden you may just start getting the kitty on the wrong side, just hitting the wrong yeah, side, yep. hitting it in the middle, <laughs> just hitting it on the wrong side. Been there before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that normally happens to me when the alcohol kicks in. It's a real <laughs> no, that's not the reason for me. But <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh. No, it's a great game and I absolutely still absolutely love the game completely and I've been an absolute pleasure to be able to work in this, uh, as you are too, Lindsay. Isn't it a pleasure to be able to work in the game? That you uh, great shot, Julie. Yes, it is. Say your hobby. Very, very you know? true. That's a beautiful bowl there by Julie Keegan. Yes, been very fortunate here. Club Helensville really looked after me since I was a young little whippersnapper. Yeah, I used to be a young whippersnapper. Oh, you know? Don't feel it. At all. <laughs> <laughs> no. Having kids has aged me about ten years in the last three, but you wouldn't they, change it. You went to the come teenagers. You know, know and get I'm back scared. at you. I'm and get back at you. <laughs> and you'll find that as as life goes on, whoever come up with the saying "age would not weary them," well, I think he was an absolute liar. Because <laughs> uh, no. well, we're see. really going into the money ends here, and I think this is where you could potentially see a little bit of the pressure bowls and see see how both teams react. Well, it's normally the pressure, always the business end of the game, isn't it? You know mm. what I mean? It's uh, it's Do always this is when the true. Uh, Green rises to the top. Green rises to the top as a rule. Yeah. yeah, I just love the way just watching Kevin Anderson pick his bowl up there. Like he just picked up, didn't even look down the other end. It was gone. You know what I mean? <laughs> no mucking about. Uh, it's probably right over Jack. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it looks <laughs> at look at the look at the Oh, <laughs> oh he's so close. Yeah, that's for sure. As Julie's just playing the backhand down here with this bowl. She's got a beautiful grass. It's just a run. Grass running out of puff. Yeah, and that's what you're saying there, like Julie's last bowl, mm. beautiful bowl, that one possibly three foot short, you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, so a big, big shot in the context of the game here, Wendy, two behind on the scoreboard, two down on her head. Yes, yeah, got Five ends to go. Yep, the business end of the game. Yeah, she looking there, then. I think, need some rubs, oh. Um, <laughs> what's happened there? Well, one, one safe one. one. <laughs> so she was in the zone again. She, she did her job, yeah. didn't she? You know? Yeah. She did her job, that's for sure. Cut one out there, which was handy. Yep. Glad everyone's enjoying the coverage and uh, the last few ends of the game, ladies and gentlemen. If you're enjoying the coverage and you haven't shared it yet, we ask you to hit the share button and get this great game of ours out to as many people as we possibly can. So, uh, yeah. And uh, as you can see, the other scores up there, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, Anderson have got another two just then. To add on yep. to that. So there's only two to diff on the boys' final. Yep. Two ends to go. Sean yes. Baker holding his nose in front just. Yes, yes. I think he's led pretty much the whole way. So about, <laughs> pretty yeah. gutted if he got run down now. But. Yeah, it's been some great bowls played. But uh, 
Pretty easy to uh, skip a rink when you've got Ryan Best for you, though, isn't it? You know what I mean? And, yeah, I think Jade's, Jade's definitely holding his own against him, though. So. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Jade, Jado, on, on his day, is a uh, <laughs> very handy bowler. Off to a great start. He's put a front touch up. Yep, beautiful bowl there. That's for sure. As we have uh, Heather just playing a, her first bowl. Julie, uh, sorry, Julie, uh, Caitlin's pulled up probably around about four foot short, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, Heather's a beautiful weight, really, but just a yeah. little bit underdone grass line, but a great lead first up bowl, so very usable. And those scores, ladies and gentlemen, are all up to date right at the moment. So uh, as the, uh, the various skips and that just changed the rings over, Robbie's straight onto it. So Caitlin's got this one pretty well pointed. Oof. Good home know? just there. Alex Murphy, good to have you back on board, Alex, watching from our eyes of these days. So yes. got over 60s of uh, men have still got six ends to go. The ladies have got four to go. Still a few few ends in over there with the men open, only two ends to go. So it's really crunch time now for uh, Anderson and Besta needing a couple to try and try and salvage a title for the Brody Bulls. Yes, that's for sure. John North, great to have you back on board. And Simon, you're dead right. Both games are absolute crackers, my friend. It's a pleasure to bring you these games on behalf of Bowls Queensland. It's a great uh, initiative of Bowls Queensland to get this game, great game of ours, out all over the state. And as you can see this afternoon, Lindsay, they're watching from New Zealand, they're watching from Scotland, England, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe. <laughs> which is great yeah, to see. Been to Zimbabwe. No. Yeah. Bowls like over there? Or uh, well, I know for a fact that a friend of mine who's in our industry has just sold rollers and mowers to Zimbabwe, so okay. there must be a bowling green over sure. there. So I do know that as Julie's just playing her first bowl and just a little bit light on for weight. Gee whiz, she had a beautiful line there. So, um, Kevin Anderson just played two crackers on the rink next door. You can really vaguely see them in the top left corner. Yes, yes, he has played two absolute crackers, but uh, Sean Baker has just let his bowl go, ladies and gentlemen. So. Yeah, he had a beautiful line, but just pulled up a bit short anyway. As we have um, Wendy on the mat here, ladies and gentlemen, she's holding one shot, so let this go pretty well. She looks to have it pretty well grasped. Just going to be weight control from now on. I think she may oh. maybe just a little bit underdone. I think she just caught that short ball of Caitlin, so a little bit unlucky there. Steve, no, mate, no tips, mate. I'm going to keep it all to myself, buddy. <laughs> Neutral. Mate, I know for a fact that uh, your dad will be down the TAB if I tell him. Oh, it's oh. A, whoops. <laughs> Uh, a fortunate yeah, one there. Very fortunate. <laughs> you know, uh, what can one say? She played it with good weight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll leave it at that. So anyway, you play with good weight. That's what can happen. You get the results. But, um, the weather's been very kind to us today too, Lindsay. It's yeah, been, it's uh, been no lovely rain. to see. It's been Finally a final with no rain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm sure the players aren't used to this type I of know. stuff. I know. What's going on here? Yes, for sure. <laughs> I think that was my problem. I needed the rain and the <laughs> heavy tracks. <Yeah. laughs> oh, oh, just under. Just no, unlucky yeah, to very catch, unlucky. catch that one too. Yes. Anyway, has opened a path up there, which is good. Scott Chamberlain and uh, Nolene Dutton, great to have you on board. I wondered about the uniform. What's that? I don't know. I won't get into anything like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lindsay tips. Oh, okay. Um, well. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Look, I, Jules and Jules and Caitlin are two very, very good friends, and they're very talented players. Um, up against two very talented players, obviously, in Wendy. Um, but I'm going to go with them. Beautiful bowl here by Kate. Only because I've got one night in the jack. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Jules, I think, can win. And I think I can't go past Sean Baker and Jade over there, um, last year's champions. Even though they're 
three down on the head and only two up on the board with two to go. I just think they uh, know what it takes to win that title. So yep. that's my tips. Sean Baker and Julie Keegan. Now... Kevin Anderson just drew another Oops. one there. Okay, Sean Save Baker's four down. Oh, oh. Sean <laughs> Baker's four down. I shouldn't, put, I shouldn't have said that because there's a commentary, commentator's curse or something oh, when you say something happens, and then they do the opposite. Happens all the time. Sorry, Bakes. You sit, I there, put the you, on you. You sit there all day and not say a word. And <laughs> then all of a sudden you say, this is beautifully grass to see it go shooting across the head. <laughs> 20 foot short, you know. Whoops. <laughs> Trust me, it happens all the time. Yes. Okay, well, hopefully I haven't done him any damage. <laughs> Michael, good to have you on board. Watching from Lowood, lovely little part of the world, out in the Cunningham district. So, uh, just watching Caitlin playing her forehand, playing away from the uh, road end on the middle green at Club Helensvale. And uh, as I said, ladies and gentlemen, if you're in the vicinity of Club Helensvale, and there's a few ends to go, duck on in, grab yourself a drink and come up and say hi to us because it would be a pleasure to uh, see you here. Caitlin played another good Very bowl good there. Shot there yeah. Very good bowl there. Looks like two, so changes the shot a little bit. Yeah, Sean, Sean and uh, Kevin's game, they're on the 20th end now. Sean Baker being two up, but two or three down on the head. Yeah. Kevin's got two bowls left, and uh, Sean's got one. So uh, we'll keep you updated with what happens on their second last end. we Will do, that's for sure. It's good to have you on board, Ralph, and g'day, Terry. Good to have you back on board. G'day, Christine. Good to have you on board. Watching from Beanley Bowls Club up in the Beanley region. Christine's been a very steady player within our district for a great number of years. As we have having a real good talk, aren't they? Yeah, Christine, yep. Yeah. Is Wendy from Dolby, at Dolby Way somewhere? Or? No, Christine's from Beanley. Not Christine, but she said, uh, what club does Wendy play for? Uh, good Wendy question, Christine. Christine. Someone, someone out there probably knows. I'm thinking it's somewhere like Dolby Road. Right? I think it may be. But that's just a bit of a guess. <laughs> <laughs> we will find out shortly, no doubt. I'm sure some of our followers uh, who are cheer cheering the girls on will have uh, a bit more of an idea. Got uh, 250 of you out there, so I'm sure someone, someone could enlighten us. us. That would be good. And she's uh, she's played very Dolby. It is Dolby. Thank you very much, Ross. We thought it was. Ah, there you You've go. Not just a one, pretty face. Eh? You've nailed that one. <laughs> I should have said it with more, convic more conviction. <laughs> yes, it's in the so true. And I'll just uh, watch. Yeah, they play these bowls. She's playing a backhand, so she's had a. She's just after this. Shot bowl, any contact on the shot bowl. Oh, she's just, just sneaking under, under. That's a great effort. we got Sean Baker coming in here, trying to save his bacon. He has drawn the shot. He was about three or four down there. Drawn the shot. The crowd's going wild. That was a magnificent Now puts him three up on the last end. That was a magnificent bowl there by uh, Sean. I'm <laughs> very grateful I haven't jinxed him so yeah. far. No, absolutely. That was a beautiful bowl. Wow. And we. as you said, it was an absolute pressure bowl. Yeah, and you know, I'm surprised. He ran with his first one and he yeah. probably had a foot or so to draw it. Oh. He's backed himself on the draw, which is great to see. And yeah. such a talent. Um, great player for Queensland. and. Um, has been in the Australian team as well, so very, yeah, very, very talented very guy, talented bowler, lovely guy sure. as well. That's for sure. As we've got Julia here, I think she could be just a little bit wide with this one. She's coming around the back, maybe getting a bit of cover, which yeah, is a very good cover there, very, there. very good because spot. Because if that's hit properly, that's exactly where that, yeah, it is. That's exactly where that <laughs> Probably is wouldn't have placed it any better if she could have. I could have walked down and put it there. And yeah. <laughs> it be, yeah. A wonderful location there, that's for sure, so... Keep these comments coming through, ladies and gentlemen. It's fantastic to uh, have you all involved this afternoon, and uh, I'm glad that you all enjoyed this uh, coverage because uh, we're very happy to bring it to you. There's one of your teammates saying, "Well done, Lily." Well done, Lily. Oh, Kaz, g'day, Kaza slash Nana, <laughs> <laughs> tuning in to watch a bit of the Queensland Championships. Very good supporter of bowls. One of my idols and a really, really good friend. Oh, gee. Gee, oh that did miss my much there. There was nothing in that at all. Oh, my God. Oh, Heather's got like her hands on her she head. Has, <laughs> she has two, Lindsay, so, yeah. Oh, dear. Very, uh, very unlucky not to make contact there. Tim, yes, I'm very relieved about that because I did tip Bakes and next minute he was full down looking down the barrel of a... 
of a, not a very happy last end, but um, I'm glad that I haven't jinxed him with the commentator's curse. <laughs> well, I can tell you one thing, ladies and gentlemen, after that, uh, Jado's got two shots there. He's there for... Bowls have been played by the leads. Ryan has one jack high and uh, way up to one side, and Ryan has one the best backward anyway. Jodo's got two, probably about 18 inches behind. So Just as we go back to this game here, yeah. Julie playing a forehand. So with that sort of bakes, like the emotions, like bakes is obviously his, him and Jade are absolutely thrilled, but. The looks on Paul Kelly and Ryan are absolutely deflated, holding three or four, looking like going into the last end, maybe one or two up with one to go. Well, that's where I say to you, from sitting in here, yeah. you can see the body length. Yeah. <laughs> and there's another great bowl there by Julie, showing her years of experience, but two two great bowls there, and a very good catchment area there, Lindsay. Yeah. As, uh, She's been around a, a lot of times, so know backwards are very important. And uh, we see, see the last ball go down. Yes, that's for sure. She's a bit wide with this one, Lindsay, by the looks of it. She's, She's not going to get a. Yeah, she is going to get a week, but it's not going to do her any good. Changes time. there. That's two more to Julie Keegan. Yeah, that's two. So really needs to stop the flow here. That's for sure. Heather and Wendy, three ends in a row now to uh, Keegan and Inch, leading sixteen eleven. Four ends left to play. Good day, Lorraine. It's good to have. Uh, always had great to have people from up north on board. I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, coverage from Townsville. Johnny North, welcome back. Good day, Ralph and Brian. Good hey, to have you on board. Mate. We missed that comment. Has told me that I'm her idol. <laughs> I've got it in black and white. Is that Thanks, right? Anna. There you go. Isn't that lovely? That's lovely, Ralph. Buy you a drink, and I'll see you next week. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Baker, you told me that uh, Sean inherited all of your uh, ability and know-how, my friend. Now, come on. <laughs> uh, it's great to see great bowls, though, David. And uh, that game has been a credit to the four players, my friend. I tell you that right now. I think that you'd have to agree that um, it's really the four of them have played exceptional bowls, the same yeah. as the girls have here, too. They've played beautiful bowls. It's, uh, it's great to see the... Uh, the two girls with the arm bowlers make the final of the state pairs, which is a wonderful achievement by the two of them. We've got uh, the over 60 games of both running away a little bit over there. Louise Whitten and Brenda Thompson looking like uh, becoming our newest champions. As Caitlin puts down another cracking lead bowl. A beautiful bowl there by uh, <laughs> Mr. Baker. I lied. No, you didn't. <laughs> got, uh, G'day, Mark Taylor, tuning in from South Africa. What a treat to have bowls available over breakfast. So there you go. Oh, oh lovely. Over breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Some good breakfast viewing. Yes, <laughs> that's for sure. There we go. Greg Bostock's just switched on. We've got a lovely bowl got coming down on. here. Wanting Heather to try and make a game of this or oh, no. Gee whiz. <laughs> I think you're fine, Brian. We were talking about this earlier. <laughs> just missing the, you know, the rub of the green a little bit there. Earlier they were getting a jack like that or sitting a bowl full. It, well, sooner or later, like the you've been playing the game like I have, Lindsay, for a few years. And, of course, sooner or later, the pendulum does change. That's yeah. what you know. You'd like it to be on your side all the time. But uh, <laughs> what makes our game so uh, so great, in actual fact, and it's... And as I've said numerous times, it's the only game I've ever played, having been very fortunate to play representative and, uh, and first grade rugby, that uh, you can go out and play this great game of ours and come up against people that have won gold medals, Commonwealth Games, or yep. you play against true champions. I don't know. It doesn't sport happen in many other sports, if any, sport does it? Yeah. <laughs> You're very true. I don't know. So this is what's so good. You can enter the state titles and, um, and play anyone. So, you know, go and test yourself out and see, how, see where your game's at. Not, uh, just over on the boys' ring, Kevin Anderson's got two bowls left with uh, Sean Baker one. I think there's only, I'm not sure who's got the shot, but it's one either to, to either team. So nothing much is happening over there at the minute okay. as far as the result changing. So Sean Baker and Jay have got one hand on their back to back trophy. Kevin Anderson needing to down. do something there. Fiona Hall's just asked you a question there, Lindsay. Islands, who was your mixed pairs partner many moons ago when you used to play? Um, I think that was Ronnie Cooper, Ronnie Cooper. back in the day. I, I yeah. think so. It was, yeah, took me under his wing a little bit when I was a young kid coming through, winter carnival times, and 
Lovely. Yeah, the Surfers Paradise Carnival was one of my favourites to go to. Lovely bike ride. Uh, yes, not with us anymore. Unfortunately. No. But um, yeah, learnt, definitely learned a lot. Uh, he was a gentleman of the game and learned a lot of etiquette and that sort of stuff from him as well. So, um, I always had a lot of time for yeah. life. Uh, great bike, Stephen Crackles Rice. Good to have you on board. Chris, oh, little Harvey, he is a dream, Chris. Um, absolute dream baby. I don't want to jinx that either. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's seven months old now, sleeps and eats like a trooper. Um, and he's happy and he's uh, yeah, very well looked after by his big sister. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he's a dream, dream boy. It's a beautiful bowl there from uh, Wendy Usher there, just a uh, shot. So holding a couple there by looks of it, Lindsay, so it could make it interesting if they can hold on to these. Yeah, I think when you get to this stage, if, if I was Wendy, I'd be thinking two or three this end and, you know, get a couple more the next end and really put the pressure on. Um, or even, you know, just score and try, try and get the momentum back in their favour. Well, Caitlin's got this very well grass. Is this going to be pinned upon her weight control here? She just thinks around that. She's really got to try and cut them down, but I think she's still three down by looks of that because... Uh, Bowls there are really scattered by uh, Julie and Caitlin this end, which is very uncharacteristic because they they play some great bowls, that's yeah. for sure. We're really getting to the point here now, and over in the men's pairs final, there's one bullet left in Kevin Anderson's gun. Well, looks like he's got one. He needs more than one though, that's for sure. Amanda, good mm. to have you back on board, Amanda. Uh, he's gone for the kill, I think. Big one out of the bag, and he's swung and a miss. That's back-to-back -back titles for Sean Baker and Jake Gronwood. What a fantastic effort, Brian. Superstars of the game. Great blokes. Yeah, very, no. very, very excited they are. Well, I must admit, Kevin doesn't look very excited at the moment there. Well, <laughs> it is a bit de deflating to lose to lose a state final, but, um, you know, credit, credit where credit's due. Sean no, and Jade played exceptionally well. That's ever so true. And uh, really held their own there, especially the second last day, uh, second last end, Sean drawing it with his last, really was a match winner, I think. And that was a match winner for sure. Definitely. You know, absolutely. Yes. Anyway, we come back over here, the exciting end of this game, and it's going to be a very close finish here too because we've got the... Uh, then we've got the um, Heather and Wendy at the moment holding three shots. And um, coming down with another one. I had a little bit of a straightener there, and uh, that'll be number four. Yeah, nothing and nothing that, quite near it for Jules and Caitlin, which is unusual. No, it, there's but, not. Um, and, and that last bowl, it, that's going to be right in, um, in, Jul mm. in Julie's line there, uh, Lindsay. And she's got nothing on the back end. No, I think she'll probably be thinking, I mean, if she just passes either side of that, she cuts three out. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's what I'd be thinking. Like, give well, her a little bit of a chance. 16 there, 11, playing the 18th band, as we said before. One, one down, down yeah, sweet. one down's pretty good. <laughs> one down sweet. So, uh, yeah, no, it's uh, absolutely. A lot of congrats coming in for the boys. Yes, no. Bakes, big Bakesy taking credit. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are off to Marimbula again and trying and win back-to-back uh, -back Aussie titles now, which will be nice. That's for sure. Go to Queensland. End of the year. Yeah, keep sending them through, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to see. I'm glad you uh, enjoyed that uh, that win. So as we've got the girls playing, Julie's playing her first bowl. And, uh, trying to cut a few out. Is she up? Up, up, up. No. No, it's a reasonable type of weight, but just grass line. It's not a bad bowl. No, I think there, she's got a couple out. Looks like Caitlin put two two fingers yeah, down. So, so that's uh, that's a very good save just there. That's Especially sure. with the first one, really eases the pressure a bit with the last. <laughs> yeah, it stops the hands from shaking. Yep. Sweating so much with the last one. <laughs> the adrenaline going. We've got the over sixty girls looking like shaking hands over there. Brenda Thompson and Louise Whitten, our newest champions in the over 60s. Again, a fine effort to those two. As when did you hit that, just hit that one ball? No, I don't down. think so. I don't think, it, don't think it's in. But it looks like I think, looking from here anyway. That, it's a bit uh, scattered to tell, Rob, isn't it? <laughs> well, Robbie Allen's got younger eyes than me. He keeps telling me he's only a young, he's a lot younger than me, but uh, <laughs> I find him. I, I, I've already asked Julie for uh, Robbie's birth certificate just to double check this, so. Uh, the game over there, uh, Louise Whitten and that Louise Whitten and um, Brenda Thompson have won the over sixties. Yeah, the others two have conceded. So, so keep sending it through. Yes, ever so true, Brian. 
Millumia is a lovely spot, that's for sure. Millumia, yeah, yeah, we went there. The first year they had the Aussie title. I was yes. lucky enough to win a couple and, and go down there, and they looked after us so well. A great, great club and a great yeah. spot, and had a fantastic time at Marimbula. This one good thing, isn't it, Lizzie, about our great sport, is that uh, no matter where you go, you're always made feel welcome. You yeah, know what I mean? my favourite thing about yeah. bowls, it is. It is. You could, I mean, nearly every town in the country yeah. has a bowls club in it, and, and when you're a bowler, you can go into any of those clubs and just feel so yeah. welcome and... Um, you know, from wherever you're from, there's yeah. everyone wants to have a yarn, and you know, it's, a, no, it's one of my favourite exactly. things about the game. Very lucky. Well, it is too, and it's, it's you know, it's like I mean, we don't see each other all the time, but when we do, we just start up the conversation from where we left off last time. That's it. So we just just hanging a bit wide. But she's playing that shot on that side, which makes me think she's probably only one or two down. Looks that way because so she's gone for a bit of cover there, by the looks of it. And you can, yeah, well, I don't know, because Caitlin had a bowl out there. Maybe she wanted a little bit longer, maybe. Yeah, I think she was just trying to, uh, her shot, shot, the last yeah. shot she played, that's maybe second or third, I think she was just trying to tip that in. Yeah. But um, yeah. she probably didn't want to play the, the other side and hit the yellow or, or maroon one in if they're not counting. So. Yes, no. Keep those comments coming through, ladies and gentlemen. We're appreciating all your comments and... Uh, if there's anything that we can help you with this afternoon, we'll definitely do our best to try and answer it. So, uh, come on, put Lindsay in the spot. She's here <laughs> with me. Well, I've got one tip right, one out of two so far. Done very well. I'll have You've to done. thank Bakes for that later, yeah, mate. Yeah. No pressure, mate, no but pressure. you, were, you yeah. were, had my commentator's gig on the yeah, line. That's it, mate. <laughs> Doing a great job. Uh, can it's a pleasure to have you on board, that's for sure. Because <laughs> we've got uh, just you a bit more there, yeah. They've taken two out. Keeps them in the match. Yep. I think that's it. That's all Caitlin wants to give. So, <laughs> I think if Heather wants any more, she's going to measure. Yep. No, two, two, two it is. Uh, Heather had a good look at that. So. Yeah. <laughs> so. She must have a pretty good eye, I think. Well, I know Caitlin does. So. Yeah, yeah, well, that's true. It's, uh, they're going to bring the mat up here slightly, Lindsay, and bring it up uh, towards the end of the line, basically. Yeah, that's it. Back yeah. to their length that they were playing a little bit earlier. Well, they were quite yeah. successful on. Yes, well, Wendy's standing up on the line, so... Uh, She's thrown a little bit longer than what Wendy asked for, but anyway, that's uh, not to worry. Patricia Phillips, how are you, Patricia? Great to have you on board. Hope you're enjoying the telecast. Ron Lewis, watching. Yeah, we're playing East West Ron, that's correct. Yeah, I think that's because their uh, TV that was set up this way, weren't they? Playing. Yes, the well, guys were happy to play this They were happy to play this way. Well, they've been playing both ways here, but this afternoon, with nice afternoon, um, why not stick to the same way? So, yeah. green's running beautifully. Um, you know, crowd's enjoying it, that's for sure. There's still plenty of people here, I'm telling you. Uh, you no, know, the game's not finished yet, which is great. There's only three the diff with a... Uh, Three ends to go. Three ends to play, so yeah, we're going to come down to the wire with this one. Which what an opener here, Caitlin. Julie's very happy with that one. What a start. Yeah, that's for sure. Right on that's it. for sure. Right when you need one on it. Great timing. Yeah, no, thank you for these kind words. Uh, it's always good to see you on board, Trish. I hope you're enjoying the telecast, enjoying the bowls. You've always enjoyed your bowls. Used to play with Trisha Phillips in the Winter Carnival Mixed Pairs. That was our tournament every year, Lindsay. Ah. We used to always have a run in that. And yeah. It was always good to see good Trish. Fun. She loves her bowl, so. It's pulling up a bit short there. Which That's for sure. It's an ideal when you're needing a few shots, but uh, in the working zone, you could call it. Yeah. Things that come off. Trish used to carry me repeatedly with her little pink bowl. <laughs> she used to do this. She had big shoulders, did she? <laughs> no, she had big shoulders. And we uh, see a, a good second bowl here from Caitlin when you've got one right on the jack like that. That's, that's a perfect spot. That's a wonderful bowl there, that's yep. for sure. Sometimes you can make the mistake of building that head up too much. So three up on the scoreboard and one right on the jack is very, very handy. Uh, Roger Goodridge, finally out of bed, Roger. Good to see you enjoying the coverage this afternoon, mate. Have you had your uh, poppy nap this afternoon? <laughs> Pat Olsop, she's tuning in as well, one of our... Very keen viewers and a great club, Helen's Bell member and a great supporter of mine comes comes everywhere and gives me a bit of a cheer, which is very helpful. Thanks, Pat. Uh, it's always uh, good to acknowledge the uh, viewers out there, Lindsay, because they are uh, enjoying the telecast. That's what we do it for, isn't it? <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> Love bringing this great game of ours out to the uh, people that can't be here, Lindsay. That's very true. It's fantastic. You got this one in the working yeah. zone, I said. That, that, 
ELA bowls got a good good little catchment area just there though, isn't it? You know what I mean? That's uh, yeah, there's not much target here for, uh, no. for Wendy, so she really needs to try and fatten this up a little bit, I think, or, or at least move that front yellow one off the line. Um, at the moment, there's not too much happening. So it just needs to change change up the angles a little bit. Yeah. Steve, I agree with that comment immensely, mate. I really do. I think it's a wonderful comment, and it shows you what uh, they put in. To watch the people use bowling arms, Lindsay, and like you're here all the time, and you're a coach here, and mm -hmm. you help the players and that now. To me, when everybody used to have a stand and bowl, before we went to the tighter, the tighter, and the tightest line you could possibly bowl, and then we went to lines where you roll the kitty and your bowl takes the same line. In the old days, to be a good player, to play a Division One, when everybody had a stand and bowl, you had to come down to your club at least twice a week to roll up. Even if it was only for seven or eight ends, you still had to come down to have those skills, to be able to stand the bowl up to hit a kitty, to be able to play all the shots. And to me, bowling arm... Bowlers this day and age just remind me so much of the old days when we when I took up the game. They come down and roll up repeatedly. Yeah, that's and most right. of the blokes that use the type bowlers come to the club, but they go straight to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, and it may be because like, I'm a bit old school and I learnt with those wide ones, but yeah. I find a tight set of bowls very hard to handle myself. And that's just a, again I was saying earlier to Kelsey that it's a real personal opinion. Yeah. A, a set of bowls, like some people love a tight set. Um, but I like to, myself like to see something that I can draw around the yeah, bowl, or yeah. you know, I can stand it straight up if I if I go further. Yeah, enough, to, but yeah. I just think, for me personally, a, yeah. a tight set of bowls aren't ideal. But as you said previously, though, Lindsay, it's a very true statement. You use whatever bowls you're comfortable with, mm. and that's what it's all about. I mean, yeah. I mean, I remember a couple of years ago we were playing the um, district sides, the Gold Coast District Men, and we're playing at Tweed Heads, and uh, Brett Wilkie was playing great bowls in those days. He's uh, had a lot of big bowls and he just bought those aero bowls and he's still using this day and age, the three colour ones. Mm -hmm. And this young chap coming sat beside me, probably about 20, 21 years of age, and he said, hey, mate, what type of bowls is that bloke out there using? I said, they're aero. I said, why is that? He said, oh, look how good they are. He said, I think I'm going to go and buy a set. <laughs> I said, mate, what are you using now? He said, Taylor SRs. I said, son, learn how to play with them. It may not be the bowl. <laughs> it may be the bloke chucking them. And I've never forgotten that comment. Uh, this, this chap thought it was the bowl. Yes. And I thought to myself, mate, you've got to laugh. You've got a lot to learn. <laughs> you've got a lot to learn. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's yeah. ever so true. It's, uh, you know, it's just great to see these people being able to still participate in our Oh, what a great, great shot here, up and about. Oh, oh that geez. is very, very good. Despite not getting a shot, it's uh, really changed up there. the angles. So, uh, pretty good shot there by Heather. Uh, the over 60 men, they're still going out there, guys. Now on the screen, it's yeah, 20 to 12, and they've played 19 in. So, Bryce Stewart um, can win an end here. They'll uh, shake hands because it'll be more than nine the difference. But uh, looks as though it's say that they may be holding one with a white foul, but I can guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, we're at least about 32 metres away from that. <laughs> so, so, Rory Allen's got younger eyes than me. He might be able to see from here. He's got his binoculars out. out. Guys. <laughs> He's got his binoculars. There we go. Yes, I agree with that, Steve. I know there's a lot of people that disagree with that, but I do agree with that wholeheartedly, man. It keeps a lot of people in our great game and, uh, you know, I think it's wonderful. Okay, I'm trying to get another one round about here. She's just slipping inside, which is not too bad at home. Not too bad, that's for sure. Yeah, just, uh, I think this is, uh, you know, even though the, the uh, Wendy doesn't have too much behind, I think it's worth the risk here. Need to have her sit the bowl if she can move the jack out of there and change things up a bit. Give Wendy a look at it with her last two. Yes, I think you're spot on there. I think it's got to the stage now, Lindsay, where they've got to start chasing a few shots. Yeah. You've got a good head here set up for themselves. Not far off. It needs a run. Hurry, hurry. Oh, it's just under the head. Oh, <laughs> gee whiz. It's, uh, a uh, very good effort. And, and she played that with good weight control to get that shot that she was after, Lindsay. You know yeah, I mean? and I think, you know, when especially when you're playing the, that third position in a pair, she's played with good weight to keep yeah. it up and about. So yeah. it's in the mix. You know, if she'd gone firmer and missed yeah. and you've got one in the ditch, it's not overly helpful. So, no, it's, so true. Uh, it's one out there in case the jack happens to spring out. But... This is a crucial uh, couple of bowls coming up from Wendy. Lovely bowl here by Caitlin. That is a beautiful bowl there because that would uh, possibly be third shot, maybe. Clinton Bailey, good to have you on board, Clinton. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Shouldn't you be at work? 
Uh, Can't you watch and work at the same time or not? <laughs> Mate, I was in a board meeting the other day. It made us a bowl of my life and lost <laughs> And I was chairing the meeting, so there you go. I only went there for a second. I just wanted, I just wanted to see who was playing, that's all. And sharing. I just I come on board and like share it. Share guys, and then like I, and share. And then I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> I turned it off. But, uh, yeah, I just had to share it, so I was out there. So. All right, here we go, guys. Wendy. Got a lovely shot Second there. Last do, you, do you think she'll say play the same shot as what? I think so. Sit and stay. Sit and stay. Yeah. She's let it go. She's watching it. She's getting in on her knees and watching it. Oh, we can't see. <laughs> oh no. She's got this. Oh, oh no, she's she's got it, but the jacks come with it. It's worse. Oh no. Yes. Very, very unlucky. <laughs> it, you know, it was really, they had to play it, I think, and just very, very stiff. Again, like I said earlier, Brian, just, just didn't quite go your way, and that's all you need in these sort of events when you're playing quality opposition, yeah, you know, that's, that's just, happens, yeah. just things to go your way and Ever so a great true. effort. And well, she's, she's two down now, but, uh, you know, I mean, she played an attacking bowl. It was a very good bowl, and as you said, those things just happened, don't they? You know, it doesn't right? look very nice at all now, I don't think. No. <laughs> that was me. Looking at that? No, uh, that's for sure. I think Julie just distracted there from yeah. someone from the crowd. Must have uh, said something. So. I think they were yelling out for the over 60s. They're playing the last end over there, so they must have scored. Yes, they must have got one. As Julie's playing a backhand here. I think she's coming around the back here, Lindsay, just getting a little bit of uh, cover in case. Yeah, which is a great bowl there. That's really where Caitlin had her mm -hmm. uh, had her foot. So that's uh, that's a lovely bowl yeah, there. So. Probably only just out of short. And I don't know what they're going to do here. These yes. They've only got one bowl in the head. There are a couple down. There's only three ends left. Well, you've really got to play, don't you? I mean, it's, yeah. uh, it's basically get to the stage that's where... That's smart. When he's coming up to have a look. Have a look, yes. Yes, no, that's, uh, that's always good. Yeah, Matty, it was well done by uh, Bakes and JD, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure bringing this coverage this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's been... Uh, Fantastic having Lindsay in commentary with us too, ladies and gentlemen, to get the insights of uh, no very good friends with these uh, competitors, and um, it's been absolutely first class. So I hope you're enjoying the telecast. There's still 240 odd people watching, so that's all good. Gay Kerry, good to have you back on board, and Dave. So we've just gone down now. Wendy, Wendy's been there. She's had a look at her head. She's made up her mind. Julie's still got a bowl, a bowl to play there, mm. though, Lindsay, so, you know, that's no matter what she does. Uh, yeah, I can't, I just can't really see Wendy getting shot out of there. She might be able to get second shot she, if she can promote that yellow. She might get second, but I reckon that's about the best she can do, but then mm. you see the commentators <laughs> first coming here, you know. <laughs> we have been wrong before. She's yeah. played a full end. Yeah, she has well, to. I think she's a bit wide, isn't she? Um, she's a bit wide there. Oh, Oh, I'll tell you what, she got second <laughs> shot, I'd say. I'd say she got second shot out of that. And Julie, of course, has still got one to play. Yeah. I think, so that was a bit of good luck go their way. She yeah. had some unlucky result with the first one and then a bit of luck there. So. Uh, yeah, no, that's true. So, yeah. yeah. We took a little bit of the pain out. Thank you very much, Patricia, for those kind words. It's been a pleasure having you on board watching it with us this afternoon. So it's... Uh, been really good, so it's so, been a quality game of bowls by uh, four great competitors. In actual fact, I must say the uh, four rinks that have been playing here this afternoon, Lindsay, it's been absolutely a uh, pleasure to sit here across it the has, four rinks. Yeah, it is a shame we can't bring more than one ring, like we were saying earlier, because yeah. it has been a treat to watch yeah. uh, all four matches actually have, have been superb. And, and you know, like, like another good saying, but sometimes the scoreline doesn't indicate the quality, quality of the, of the game, game, especially yeah, over there with with the uh, over 60 girls up by yeah. a fair few, but um, the heads were fantastic. Yeah, and absolutely. Debbie Logan, yes, that's ever so true. It's great to have Lindsay on board. We've given you some uh, great commentary. I couldn't agree more. As Julie's just going to pull up a little bit line on with this one. She had a beautiful it's track. A safe, a safe one, I think, yeah. <laughs> I'd be thinking. Yes, no, that's for sure. So I think, gonna Kayla, I think, second, I think, I think she's going to measure out the second, I think she's going to measure out the second one. Looks at yeah. this. I do favour that uh, back to the bowl for one. Yeah. Yeah. one. Yeah. Just the one, I think. Just the one. Okay, well, it's still a game on, Brian. It is game yep. on. It's got... Uh, All the difference, two to go. Yep. Can go either way, so... Yeah. I'd be hoping, if I was Wendy, you'd want probably at least two shots on this end to, to really give yourself a good chance and going into the last, only needing two, so... 
Never over two. It's over, though, Lindsay. There's one thing about bowls. It's Did you see that in the men's triples final yes. the other night? Oh, yes. Eric, he played a Taylor <laughs> Howler with his last. Uh, so um, accurate with his, with his drive. But uh, six down and he was six up on the on the board, six down on the head last end. And ripped one of them out, two of them out. <laughs> yeah, no, so Check true. the title. An um, absolute uh, champion guy, too. Isn't oh, he? isn't he? And playing yeah, so well. I'm surprised playing, he's yeah. not in this pairs final. He's been in all the other stuff, yeah, isn't he? I'd be going to a beautiful lead bowl here by uh, Peyton and Inch. Beautiful starter. Really good opener there. Yeah. Exactly what you're after. Yeah, no, I can assure you that. Uh, Eric told me after the uh, Falls game, just after all the balls that he played, he said he was bugger. Yes, I bet. He was buggered, <laughs> so, but, uh, he just loves the game like we all do, Lindsay. You know? It's an easy game to love, I think. Hard game to master, but uh, yeah. keeps us coming back, doesn't it? <laughs> that is so true. Whoops, we got a little bit of a misfire there, which yeah. is very unusual. Well, th that's the worst bowl we've seen. Hey, yeah, <laughs> it's been yeah. Sort of like around the mark nearly every single end, so. I'm not sure with the arms if you probably have to get it away quite quite well. Yep, no, that's for sure. What another beautiful bowl there by Kate. Yep. What a beautiful bowl. As you said, one on it, one just behind yep. it. So. Super start from Caitlin. Yep. Beautiful bowl there, yep. See all those like buttons going up. <laughs> that's good. Keep hitting those buttons, ladies and gentlemen. Tell us what you think about the game. We get, well, I'm not sure what's happening on the over 60 men. There's a crowd a bit rowdy over there, so I'm thinking. I reckon they're holding quite a few, but looks at it from here. Yeah, there's a lot of black bowls around the jack. It certainly is. It? Yeah, it is really hard to tell from over here. here. <laughs> and that was a lovely bowl there from um, Heather. She picked up Oh, wow. Time. It looks like uh, Alan's played a cracker through the head. I reckon he was one, two, three, four, possibly five down. Five right down. There. He's probably just one down now, yeah. so Bryce will be pretty happy with that one. Sue McKenzie's back watching us. And, uh, hey, G. Have you back, Sue? Hope Pete's going all right, mate. Yeah, mate. Looking after him. Yeah, she's probably had. He was six down. We've got word six just down. Six down, and he's six down. There's only five up on the board, so <laughs> <laughs> last end over there. Yeah. No That's a game saver. No wonder Bryce is looking so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely ball there by uh, Jurley, just covering up the uh, kitty right on the line. Pretty Third perfect shot. there, yeah. Third shot, so head's looking pretty good at this particular stage, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, for them. Good day, Joan. Good to have you on board. I'm glad you're enjoying the telecast. As we're coming down to the business end of the game, the last couple of men, so we see uh, Wendy with her first bowl. I think she could be a little bit wide, uh, wide with this one. Uh. Yeah, I think she was keen to give that one a chance, get one pass, so they can try and make a few shots out of something a bit later on. Yeah, I'm glad everything's good with Pete, uh, Sue. So that's great to hear, love. It's, uh, that's good to hear. G'day, Jess. Hope you uh, enjoying the bowls. I reckon we'll make a bowler out of you yet, Jess. Is Come on, mate. Right? Get out there with your mama. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. yeah, no, true. Lovely bowl there by uh, Julie. Yep, very good coverage. Bowl. It's, uh, again, that's a fair bit of experience there, uh, Lindsay just coming that back yeah. bowl, just making sure that no matter what happens, you can't go more than one down, and don't leave it with your la to your last bowl. <laughs> very <laughs> true. <laughs> they have a bit of pressure put upon you, so uh, mm -hmm. no, very good thinking there. Yeah. Wendy really needing to have to change things up a bit. Looks a bit wide again. Yeah. Oh, Great effort. Yeah, very that's good. In a useful spot. Yep, no, that's for sure. I think I'll be playing the forehand up here if I, that was me out there, just trying to change things up, move that pink bowl of Julie's, try and create a bit of a path. There's, there's not much happening. Just reckon, really. she, just reckon she may have to skip a generation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could make Chloe could be the youngest superstar we've ever had. Well, <laughs> she's going real good bowls, what you're saying, so... And we come down to the business end now, ladies and gentlemen, as the two leads go back to play their bowls. And uh, it'll be Caitlin playing the first bowl. She's playing her forehand, playing away from the back room. She's just starting to uh, shadows coming over now. So pretty important on weight control here. 
And uh, look, they have this very well pointed oh, defensive what play. Great bowling from Caitlin and covered up the jack. That's fantastic. <laughs> that, is, that is a magnificent We're really going to get into this now, I think. Particularly as the green starts to become holding in that yep. two legs. You know, the shadows are coming across. It's uh, slowing down slightly. But uh, the thing that amazes me with, this, with these greens, though, even though they're slowing down slightly, you've still got to take your grass line. Yeah, it still has a finish to it. Yeah, yeah you've just is. got to push it a bit harder. Ever so true as Heather's playing her first bowl, which sneaks around this one. She gets any contact on this yellow bowl, she may get a result out of this. Mm, got a, oh, maybe just a bit under the oh. Beautiful line for what she was after. Just a tad more weight, she may have got a result out of that. Sylvia, ever so true, it was a very good bowl, that's for sure. So, hope everybody's enjoying the uh, final few ends of this great contest. It's uh, Proudly brought to you by Bowles Queensland. Yeah, we can see there. Bryce and Allen have taken out the men's over 60s state title. Very well done. So they'll be happy and relieved with that one. Very uh, well done to Bryce and Allen, but a very big congratulations to the two boys from uh, Cairns for making the state over 60s final. It's, uh, getting hugs over there from their supporters. Yeah, Great to see. They really do um, sort of ride every single bowl. Everyone that watches comes along. And nice. Cheers, everyone on. It's an absolute credit to the boys to uh, to get so far in this great event. And the final score looks as though it's 20 to 17. So there's only three shots in it, Lindsay. So uh, very, uh, very good game. I just don't know. I really think they need to get stuck into this head. <laughs> you know, you're not probably going to draw within an inch there. I think you some you've, big weight. You've, you've, you've got to smack it and maybe, maybe even be lucky enough to get the kill, really. You know, yeah, yeah. Because the head really does favour Jules and uh, Caitlin here. I mean, even if it goes back, Julie's only going to go one down, you know, one end to play. Yeah, I wouldn't be mucking around with that if that was me, but um, uh, we'll see what uh, Wendy does. She's got two to come. Trouble with you women, see, you're so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm just like happy, happy go. <laughs> No, uh, it's definitely, it's definitely better to be hit, that's for sure. Yeah. That's for sure. I mean, these are the fun shots. I do lead a lot, so when I'm skipping, I like to have a bit of a uh, don't stick in you. there, you know? Yeah. My days are skipping over. I'm leading a lot these days and loving it. Yeah. Roll the kitty, draw nice a couple of shots and yep. just go and sit down. Let someone else go last. <laughs> Another one in the zone for Julie there. Pretty yeah. handy. Pretty handy in there, that's for sure, depending on what weight Wendy plays. So it's going to be uh, interesting because, as you said, she's really going to smack it and try and kill it, in my opinion. Guess, yeah, not much is going to happen with draw weight. So I hope she goes one big. How are we going here? I don't think she's playing with enough weight, mate. She's playing with more control. Yeah. It's a it. really, really yeah. hard shot to play, but yeah. <laughs> all credit to you, though. I said earlier, if you think that's what you can get and you can play well, it, go true. for it. That's but, um, so true. Geez, it's a hard, hard shot just to try and get a dump on that yellow just enough yeah. to get onto the jack but not push it yes. too far. Uh, <laughs> Sue McKenzie says, go the Lynn. Go the Lynn. Ah, <laughs> thanks, Sue. It's <laughs> a nickname for me, the Lynn. The Lynn, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Very good value, Sue. Had a good laugh with Sue's at the end. Won a state fours with Sue, actually. Yeah. No, she's uh, going back a little bit now. She's a very uh, character of our great game. That's she for is. sure. It's, uh, very it's great to have those characters. It too, is great to play with. Never yeah. says die and always gives yeah. every bowl a chance. Ever so true. Lots of fun. And Caitlin's going, uh, Caitlin, I think Julie's going for a bit of uh, cover here. Caitlin's just standing out where she basically wanted the bowl. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, pretty good home there because if, if, if they decide to hit it, they'd probably end up there somewhere depending well, on what weight they hit it. I think the opportunity to hit it's probably I gone think it's a little bit too, now. Yeah, so yeah, just, we've had, they've had sort of three or four goes at this weight. It yeah. seems to be they're committed to it a little bit. So let's hope she can get one out of it and see what happens. Let's see what happens with this one. Uh, she's still playing with the same weight there, Lindsay. May get a result. Could be a bit wide though, I think, for what she's after. Yeah. Just going to miss it. Very good try though. I will say it that. Is, it is a good try. try. It's um, you know, 
it, is a, it was a hard break to play. Yeah. You had to get yeah. it dead on. Sometimes when you sort of could have had it maybe a run up the middle, you just need a bit of luck like as well, which you never know. Right. It, can, it can go for you. But um, yeah. again, she thought she could get that, and she was only probably a couple of holes wide of target. Yeah. But no, it makes perfect. it very difficult for the, the last end now. Pretty much got a hand and a half on the trophy here. Julie yeah. Keegan and Caitlin Inge. Yeah, no, congratulations to all four. It's been an absolute wonderful game of bowls, that's for sure. It's been uh, as uh, Veronica Elliott comes back on board. Good to have you back on board, Veronica. As we see the crowd starting to uh, pack up and head down to uh, get a cold drink because they think this one's over and done with. Mr Curry, good to have you on board, mate. I thought you should be babysitting. Do a head count, how many children you got? Uh, we've got the first bowl there, ladies and gentlemen, by uh, Caitlin, just uh, jack high. Beautiful weight, of course, absolutely magnificent weight. So, Heather's playing the forehand, comes down trying to sit inside this bowl. Oh, she just needs a bit of extra weight when they're chasing shots on the last end, so. Six, six, six shots six, they need. Six for a draw, so it really had to be in behind the head somewhere there, Lindsay, that's for sure. I wonder if they'll go for the kill. You know, like, again, if that was me, you got one short, you need well, six for a draw, I hope for a win. I hope they go for the kill, and it's done, because Robbie wants to try his slow motion replay. Again. <laughs> He hasn't done it today. All oh, right. Slow my replay. That sounds exciting. <laughs> no, come on, Jason. You should be babysitting. I'm sure Jess should be out playing bowl somewhere. Oh, that's a couple in the zone there from Heather. Yes, that's true. Anything means that they could be a little bit... Uh, could be a little bit um, short there, though. If that, mm. I'm only saying if the uh, code is trailed, though, Lindsay. You know what I mean? It then takes those balls completely out of play. True. Doesn't it, you know what I mean? True. I think Jules will just be trying to get a couple around about. Yeah, I'd say so too. Like just a little trail of even a foot that takes those two yeah. balls, those two balls out of play. So should be some. Uh, just see what she plays anyway. Jules playing the backhand. Coming back down this way, Lindsay, so she got a little bit under down here. I think a bit excited thinking yeah. about the win, maybe. <laughs> Drop one a couple of metres short, blocker. You, wish you, wouldn't, you wouldn't want to be writing the speech just at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be doing it after the, uh, the couple, after the couple last more goals need to be played, yep. yeah. So that's for sure. And um, so, anyways, we have. Wendy playing her first bowl. She's playing her forehand, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oops, made it even more difficult made now, it, I think. Yes, <laughs> that's for sure. The chase six, that's for sure. So it's been an absolute pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to bring you this uh, great game of bowls this afternoon. As uh, Julie's got this very well grass, that's for sure. Yeah. Not quite shot. You can tell that green, like, I mean, that was probably the grass line 10, ten minutes ago. Yeah, true. It was just a beautiful line for it, but uh, just as it's in full shade now and it's turning uh, a bit uh, a bit cool, so... Um, a lovely bowl here. Yeah, a good shot. From Wendy. Uh, you never know what can happen. <laughs> uh, Jason Curry. What's that? About time you got a better looking announcer to replace you, boy. <laughs> Thanks, Jace. Uh, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> love you too, Jace. <laughs> Maybe wasn't too hard, was it? Uh, uh, <laughs> Jason and uh, just do a wonderful job. They've got the uh, bowls yes. for you, so very uh, good sponsors of lawn bowls, uh, Lindsay. They are good supporters, good players as well at that. Never so true. Well, we got uh, Wendy and Heather holding a couple here. Yes. We need to get a couple more in there. 
Now we've got a uh, Wendy just giving Heather a bit, a few instructions on what she'd like. So looks like she's going to play a backhand, isn't it? I think so. She just needs mm -hmm. needs to get some more near the jack. <laughs> so either way, hard to tell. She seems to be standing straight up there. Yeah, backhand. It backhand. Is. Yeah. So. I don't know if it's up, is it? Yvonne, it's a pleasure. Glad you enjoyed the coverage. Uh, Sue's no tool. Giving you a big pat on the back, Lindsay. Good. Oh, good on you, Sue. Dennis. Yeah. Great yeah, bloke, Dennis. Great, yeah, great supporters of the game. That's for sure, both of them. Great contributors back to the game as well. They certainly are. Both of them. Pretty much the lighting's on the wall here, unless yes. uh, Wendy can pull out a miracle. Well, I think that should be just about shaking in time. <laughs> they really <laughs> need to kill this end. They need six shots. Yeah. I'm yeah. not sure. They need six shots. <laughs> anyway, we'll see if they go for the kill. They're just going to uh, play out the game and um, see what happens from there, Lindsay. Now she's playing with draw weight by lots of it, so it looks like they're just going to play the game out. Maybe make them lose by less, is that me? <laughs> Try and score a couple so the scoreline looks a bit better. A bit respectable, <laughs> you reckon, eh? Well, if that was me, I'd be going for the kill for sure, although she's covered up the jack now. So yes, definitely <laughs> can't kill it now, Lindsay, that's for sure. Oh, dear. But it's... Uh, <laughs> It really and it has been a very, very entertaining final the whole way through. Probably only the last couple of ends were the difference, I think. Yes. Uh, Julie and Caitlin just holding holding strong a little bit better, but um, what a credit uh, Heather and Wendy have done. No, that's for sure. It's been absolutely fantastic, and it's been a pleasure giving you, uh, bringing you this telecast of late gentlemen this afternoon on behalf of Bowles Queensland. And a great initiative of Bowles Queensland to get this great sport of ours out to all over the state and plus also around the world. Yep. So, uh, Fantastic, guys. Good job. That's for sure. As, um, Julie's going to be a little bit underdone here. Okay, yeah, I'm sure she's not too worried about that one, really. No, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. She'd probably give him five if you shake hands and yeah. <laughs> win by one. They should yeah. be happy with that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't really matter how, much, how, how many you give them. I'll turn that camera around, for God's sake, please. Oh, we're on camera. Hey. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> so anyway, we're coming down to the last uh, couple of bowls here, ladies and gentlemen. As uh, Wendy's played her bowl, she's just pulled up a little bit short, unfortunately. So. Getting Julie in there. I don't think it's really changed too much. No. The title's going to go to Caitlin Inch and Julie Keegan. Keegan it's a matter of uh, by how many. Yes, now, this is where Julie should use her years of experience, because if that was me... I dropped that bowl halfway up the line where it's not so far away from a bowls bag, but <laughs> yes. that's years of experience. If that was me, I'd uh, <laughs> probably not play it. <laughs> put it straight in your bowls bag. <laughs> She's actually put one back right up the line, so uh, if it goes back, it's, you know, it, it is a good bowl there, Lindsay, that's the bowl in the land, but uh, pretty hard to hit that white thing from where it is, mate, that's for sure, so we'll wait and see anyway. Yes. Looking very relaxed, Brian. Hey, Nat Lee. Does he ever look any different now? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, don't change much, Nat. You know that. <laughs> well, hang on. There must be a shot on. There must be I something coming up. I, think <laughs> I don't know what we're we'll talking to that. Yeah, trying to, yeah. to do here. Yeah. But good on them for, for looking at something. <laughs> yes, mate. As you can tell, Brian, I spent 18 years in the front row and kept my good looks, mate. So how tough was I when I played the game, man? I'm telling you. you know? Oh dear. I used to say that to my grandchildren when they were young, and they used to say, yes, granddad, now I won't tell you what they say to me, because they're uh, growing up and... Uh, yeah. No better. Yeah, they know better. <laughs> Jules and Caitlin just patiently waiting. <laughs> yeah, so it's... Um, Wendy's obviously got a shot. She must think she's going to get a few shots here or something, Lindsay. But oh, I, again, I think I, she's I, just I left it a little bit late. I just, I just can't <laughs> see where. That's all. I, I think she's probably thinking, how are we going to make this? But yeah. um, I just don't think it's... I don't think it's possible. I mm, can't probably see. just a hit and hope and try and could be too. splash it out and it kill could, it. Could be too, uh -huh. so... Mm. In the end, 
my friend. What well, a great well, final. Yeah, really yeah, a bit of an empty climax the last game, but uh, what a fantastic game all the way through by like both teams. Let's take credit to uh, the four girls there. And, um, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be hanging around for um, the presentation. We're hanging around for the presentation. We are. We are, so... Be nice. So, Lindsay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get one of those girls and I'm going to get you to interview them. Oh, I would love to interview one of them. Okay, who do you want, Julie or um, I'll grab Julie, actually. I'll go get a bit of dirt on her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just jump off and uh, just like to say, Lindsay, it's been an absolute pleasure working with you this afternoon. Oh, no worries, Brian. It's been good to great. be here with you guys. Fantastic. So, I'll just try and grab uh, Julie. Yep. So I'll Thanks for everyone for, for tuning in as well. We've had a lot of a lot of good supporters out there for all, all four finals and all the different clubs, and it's um, sure. been a pleasure. And I'll let you keep talking. Oh, on my own? Yes. <laughs> no, I don't really know what to say. But uh, it's been a great finish to our uh, pairs event of the Queensland State Titles. So the over 60s has been a great addition to uh, to our game right now. So uh, we're hoping to get Julie to sign in the cards. So the next couple of days, stay tuned because we've got the men's and women's state singles on. Two days of sectional play and knockouts, followed by the quarterfinal, semifinal and finals here on Sunday for the men um, and the semifinal and the final for the women. So that should be good fun and uh, should finish a great few days of bowls. She won't be far away now. Hi, right, Lindsay. How are you? I'm oh, good, thank you, Pete. I'm just, <laughs> you're not Julie Keegan. <laughs> uh, not yet. No, no. I've just got to trim up, and I may be. But <laughs> are we just giving a bit of a spell and wait till she comes up? Ah, uh, here she comes. What a great game that was, wasn't it? <laughs> it was fantastic, yeah, Pete. It was a great. The game. did really, really well. It was only the last couple of ends that Julie and Caitlin snuck away, and uh, what's fantastic the quality of bowls and the heads and the shot plays by by every, all four players was awesome. So, um, a great final to, to televise. So I've got my lovely friend here, Jules. Congratulations. Thank you very much. She's going to come in here and have a chat on the mic. Hello, friends. <laughs> she's, she's struggling. She can play bowls. She can't put the earphones on. Here we go. Uh, hi, Julie. Congratulations on the win, mate. Thanks, Liam. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exciting game all the way through. Yeah, it was a really tough tussle. I think, um, you know, the Caitlin and um, they, they both played really well up front. I think it was a really good tussle and it was one of those games that you just sort of had to sort of think about it, don't draw too many clothes because yeah. they were just converting really well and we just had to try and cover all the danger. But yeah, it was good. That the entire way through was a bit of a battle and then the last few ends you sort of you, uh, took away, which was pretty good. Was there any thought of them... Trying to kill that last end, or trying to trying to change things up a little yeah, bit, or what? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Yeah, um, Six yeah, different. it was probably. Yeah, we sort of, you know, sort of felt we just had to just keep drawing shots in there and just sort of had the cover. But yep. yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, probably, yeah, killing it probably would have been a good option because they were hitting very well and converting yes. very well. Um, yeah. So, um, but um, luckily, Caitlin stuck one in there and we had a few around the bout. <laughs> so that was good. great. Yes. And pretty exciting. So last year's silver medalist in the pairs. Yes, yeah, yeah, so yeah. 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 so getting the gold and you're off to Marimbula again now with Caitlin yeah. at the end of the year. So congratulations. Thank you. Love Marimbula. Um, so, yeah, always looking forward to going down there and playing. So it's always a good, great venue down there. Very good. And you, how are you pulling out where you heard you were a bit sore the other day? Uh, the yeah, yeah. I've popped a few pills. I've actually pulled out of the singles. But, uh, yeah, so I had a few pills and sort of double dosed up the, uh, after the first game and, <laughs> and you played awesome so well done so I've a couple of drinks and it'll make it feel even better <laughs> well done and would you know what number title this is for you as far as state championships go we've won a few over the years yes yeah, so we've, we've won, won quite a few with you Linz and I was actually thinking before and I didn't know whether I actually won a pairs but I think I've won pairs with you before we won a couple we won a couple yeah so yeah we've got a couple so yeah Michael reminded me of that um, I said oh, I think it might be if we happen to win I don't think I've ever won a state pair. He goes, I think you've won a couple with Lindsay. I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> Forgot about that. But uh, I've got no idea. Um, okay. Yeah, but, very uh, successful. Just happy to just to sort of chip away and just have a win here and there. And we had lots of tough games. We had a great game against Chloe um, this morning, and it could have gone either way. Um, so... Yeah, very good. And anyone, anyone, there was a lot of support for you guys on the Facebook page. Anyone you want to thank? Uh, 
Um, I just want to thank Broad Beach Bulls um, for all their support, um, Aero Bowls, and um, all my family. Uh, it was great having my little granddaughter here today, and I think she had to go home she because she was getting a bit sooky. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, um, <laughs> and was tuning in, and yeah, uh, Faye, yeah, Faye's there. Faye's here. Hey, Faye's here. So a lot yeah. of support for you guys, and, and, and for Heather and Wendy as well. So yeah. it was great to see Yeah, no, it was good having all the Broad Beach support, you know, cheering us on on the sideline, and, um, you know, I think it was a good crowd here, and um, the Greens were running really well, and um, nice yeah. to have some sunshine. Shine as well, wasn't it? It was, <laughs> yes. Better than the rain the other day, but most definitely. And uh, no, so that was good. And thank you for doing the commentary. It's, no uh, Very good. And uh, thank you to Club Helensville for hosting the event. Um, really appreciate it. And uh, it's great to have the live stream, I think, out there. And hopefully it was good for people to watch. Very good. Thanks, Jules. So well done again, uh, Julie thank Egan you. and Caitlin Inge, our new state pairs champions. Uh, and stay tuned. I think the presentations are going to be not far away. So awesome. enjoy the celebration. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not sure if anyone's coming back. Brian might be coming back on deck now, I think. Yes. Yeah. All right, here. Yeah. Organised chaos. Just had a good chat there to uh, Julie Keegan, our champion for 2019, and appears with Caitlin Inch. The thing that uh, surprises me the most is uh, how cooperative the players are after a game. Like they've just won a major state title and uh, they're excited, and you just go and ask them. Can you give us a couple of minutes and whammo? Yeah, I think they're happy. You know, this is a great um, addition to Bowls to be able to, you know, get it out there to viewers that can't can't be here. So they're happy to help out in any way possible. And and um, getting a chat to them after the game is a really great insight. And just you know, good to I see their fantastic, happy faces. And also too for the players that uh, have just taken up the game, or you know, they're not at the elite level, and just get an insight on how they feel after you know such a. A great achievement, and uh, maybe even every now and again, I try to ask a few questions to pick up how people mentally prepare themselves for such a big week and various things. Just you know, little things that would help some of our players. Well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's very true. We got Kate, Caitlin Inch just tuned in here, and she said, "Go, Julie!" So, <laughs> go great win, Julie, and uh, you didn't do too bad yourself, Caitlin. So, yeah, yeah. Ever so true. Uh, she's a good egg, that one, uh, and um, played very, very well. A great game of, of pairs we've just witnessed. Pretty, so. uh, pretty good to have a lead, lead, lead up way. I mean, both the girls led well, though. Uh, Both of yeah. them set up the head pretty well. Uh, the skips could play their shots, and the quality of bowls was just absolutely first class. Like, I mean, I mean, this is uh, what 1913. Uh, maybe I don't know what the last end was. Doesn't matter anyway. But uh, maybe. Uh, what they picked up one, so probably 1914, but... Uh, yeah, it was only the la last couple of ends that was a difference in the end. That's so correct, because... Yeah, the, great the, final. The lead changed hands numerous times throughout the yeah, afternoon. So, you know, and, and I'm sure the two girls, uh, Heather and Wendy, will go away. They should go away very happy with what they've achieved for this week. I mean, to make any final of the state event is a wonderful achievement, let alone ones that have, have got disabilities, because uh, they were through the stages when you used to have a medical certificate to play the game and it's kept them in the game and look how far they've got. So yep, played very well. Very consistent. An absolute congratulations to them as it is to see uh, Brenda Thompson come back and uh, win state trial again. Like, that's just uh, a wonderful achievement to her. So it's just been an absolute pleasure bringing you this uh, great game and we're just waiting for the presentations to start, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Robbie Allen out there with the camera. and um, got a few medals and a few checks and a few uh, shields to present. So uh, four, four champions in the pairs, which is great to have the over-60s in this discipline. Oh, this has been um, fantastic, Lindsay. Some and great games in that event as well. Yes, some real quality teams in the over-60s. As, you saw, scary, the, as really. you saw the other night that... Uh, they allowed me to hand out the medals, and then we had to go get them off you and give them to the right people. <laughs> yeah, I got crowned the men's triples, Jim. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I, went, I went, whoops, what do you mean? These are the ladies. I just thought they were men. Oh, I took it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, was, uh, anyway. Just <laughs> but anyway, yes, no, it was good to see those congratulate me letters coming through. We've got Gail, the over 60 pairs, and the women, Louise Whitten and Brenda Thompson, mate. Some of your. Your good friends won the uh, ladies over 60s and uh, Alan Brough and Bryce Stewart in the men's over 60s. Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, absolute, some fantastic games, that's for sure. Roger yeah. Goodridge, you're still awake. I thought old people went to bed early, Roger. <laughs> Again, lots of comments coming through saying, unfortunately, there has to be a loser. It's very, very true. Yes. Um, it was such a quality game. Well, four quality games out there, but unfortunately, to have a winner, there has to be a loser or a run, runner up. We should say well, one up. They're not well, losers, really, are they? Silver medals. I mean, you know, like even uh, sport level, people say, it's, you know, 
it's a shame to have a loser. Well, if you didn't have that for a loser or a, or a winner, you wouldn't keep score, would you? <laughs> that is very true. You wouldn't have to keep score, kid. You know? like, imagine how easy that would be. You know? <laughs> yes. Just go out and play 21 ends and say, well, no winners and no losers. So, But no, it's true. It's uh, quality games like that. It's, but as I say, like, I mean, you look at the amount of participants that started this event uh, three days ago and... You know, if you come down to being the last two, I reckon that's just an absolute wonderful yeah. achievement. Even in the last four. Yeah, you know, big achievement. It is a really, it is a wonderful achievement. And I think just, like, you know, seeing, uh, we've played against a lot of, of people from all over the state, and it's been fantastic to be able to get to just play against some of these people yeah. that you probably wouldn't normally play against in well, a district or a club event or a tournament. Yeah. So, um, you know, everyone that entered, well done to everyone that entered and, and got out there and had a go. Yeah, I couldn't um, agree more on that one. Yeah, so it'd be and great to see more next year, you know, and, and well, you could be out here as well. Just look at, look the, the people that are here. Yeah, no, awesome. it's, absolutely, it's absolutely marvellous and it's wonderful to see those uh, two from uh, far north Queensland playing the over 60 finals today and uh, as I said, young uh, Tyra and uh, Ray from Leichhardt, uh, yep. very small district, long reach region and uh, you know, to make the semi-finals and to be beaten by the eventual winners of the state pair. Yeah, now, pretty like, big, isn't it? And it's just a wonderful achievement, yep. but particularly for young Tyler who's uh, as I said, he just made the under-18 squad, so I uh, congratulate him immensely, and I'm sure he would have learned a hell of a lot from uh, from that game. So, as you said, good, good motivation, I think, as well. When, when you lose matches, sometimes you probably learn a bit more than, I guess, if you win. Yes. Um, so it'll take a lot out of that and, and probably have a desire to go even better next time round. So. Well, that's true, too, Lindsay. I think it's... Uh, you know, for a, for a young kid like that to come down and play in a competition like this, I'm not too sure. I actually should have asked Ray, who's, uh, who's um, tied up with the uh, Leichhardt District Council, and then I really should have asked him if... I'm pretty sure Ty did play in their district side, so he, I, I'm pretty sure he did. Now, if he did, well, he's had a, he's had a good couple of weeks of good bowls, you know what I mean? So yeah. he's going to go back to his region a far better player than what he was when he came. So, you know, that's how you learn, so... Okay. Just getting some technical yeah, advice getting here. Getting some technical advice. <laughs> Sounds like they're cutting me off. And they're Are they cutting look. me off? No, Maybe they should no, cut me off. No, I'm no. off. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Better go pick up the kids. <laughs> okay. I'll leave Brian in charge. So okay. um, thanks, guys, for everyone tuning in. Well done to all our winners. Thanks, Brian, for your yeah, company, no, mate. Thank you very good. Much, no worries at all. With you, that's for sure. Best of luck to everyone in the singles finals. Thank and you very much. Singles Lindsay. as well. Bye, guys. Bye. You go pick the kids up. <laughs> Uh, really well done. It's been an absolute pleasure having Lindsay on board this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I think you'd all agree. It's, uh, her insight in the commentary and how the girls play was absolutely fantastic. And I hope you all enjoyed uh, the coverage. So, really well done. So, thank you very much. And we're just waiting, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're just waiting, ladies and gentlemen, for the presentation. I'll just turn myself down in a minute when, uh, when this happens. So. Just waiting for the presentations here, ladies and gentlemen. They're just about to start, so ready when you are. Okay. Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Pairs Finals for 
2019. Some great bowls played once again in absolutely brilliant spirit. And congratulations to all the winners and thank you to all the people who stopped and watched and cheered and clapped. Thank you. I would like to introduce to you Mrs. Colleen Ryan, Mrs. Carmel Gibb from Bowls, Queensland, to do the presentations. Thank you. Oh, two. I've never spoken to two before, but here we go. Uh, Club Helen's Vale, thank you so much. The Greens have played out well through the whole time. Spectators, thank you for coming along and cheering your squads on. They do appreciate it. To all the bowlers who have participated, without you, we, didn't, we would not have this going on. I would also like to thank our match committee and we've got our umpires here. Thank you, one of them. There's a lot of work that goes behind the scene. And the green cake is this, Colleen. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. To everybody, thank you so much. Now let's get on with the show. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, for the women's over 60 pairs, the runners up. Sue Ramsey, Veronica O'Connor. Okay, and the winners of the 2019 over 60 pairs, Brenda Thompson, Louise Whitten. Okay, and now we get to the runner up in the open pairs. Heather Hodgson, Wendy Usher. Ladies Bears 2019, Caitlin Inch, Julie Keegan. Julie Keegan, now a couple of words on behalf of all the lady competitors. Thank you. Thanks very much, Ron. Um, thank you very much to Bowls Queensland uh, for running a great event. 
Thank you to Club Helen's Hall for supplying the greens, um, to the guys doing the uh, live feed and the commentary. Thank you. I think it's great putting it out there to the world, and um, hopefully it came across. Um, thank you very much to the girls that we played against. You played amazing bowls, um, and, and could have been anyone's right up until the end. Um, we've had tough games all the way through. Um, to our supporters, thank you so much to um, all the body and my family coming out. Um, and last but not least, thank you very much to Caitlin, my amazing partner. She played great all weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Julie. The job's not over. You've got your photograph taken. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, now for the over 60 pairs, the runners up, Ryan Petrohelis and Kevin Deegan. Okay, and the winners of the Over 60 Shield for 2019, Alan Bruff and Bryce Stewart. Okay, <coughs> pardon me. For the men's open pairs, Ryan Bester and Kevin Anderson. Okay, and the winners of the Men's Open Pairs 2019, Joe Granaway and Sean Baker. Okay, Shane. Would you like to say a couple of words on behalf of all the male competitors? That one's not working, so you can put that down. Uh, first of all, um, thank you to Miles Queensland. That doesn't work. Thank you, <laughs> thank you to Miles Queensland um, for all their efforts. You know, these, these events, uh, they run every year. Falls link, um, obviously. Yeah, thank you very much to Jade. You know, it's been a, a pretty big few days for us. We had a tough section, tough all the way through. 
Uh, we didn't expect any less today. A little bit of a results went our way. Kevin and Ryan, you know, two great players. It was just a privilege to play against you, and uh, we'll be back again next year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you all. That completes today. And thank you, ladies. And thank you all. And we'll see you all back here, hopefully, on Sunday afternoon for the finals of the singles. Thank you. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed the uh, presentation. There's still quite a few watching. So as we uh, wrap up, and uh, just uh, on behalf of the Gold Coast Tweed District media team, um, it's been an absolute pleasure bringing you this wonderful uh, day of bowls. Um, brought to you by Bowls Queensland and their sponsors, BCIB Insurance Brokers, Mullins Law Firm, Mitsubishi, Nanda Mitsubishi, Asset Sports and Hence the Light, as well as Club Super. And a very, very big thank you must go out to uh, our wonderful media crew, to um, Peter Hutchins and, of course, uh, Bobby Dem and, uh, of course, Robbie Allen and guest commentators we had today were absolutely fantastic. And Brian Stewart helping us with the scores. Uh, everybody involved with our telecast, a big thank you. But uh, thank you very much to Bowles Queensland. And on behalf of Bowles Queensland, I wish you all a very good bowls. Enjoy your bowls, support your club, and we look forward to seeing you all on Sunday to watch the singles, quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good evening. There is no other place in the world like our city. We're unique, vibrant, and a little unexpected. We're so much more than sand, surf, and sports. We're for telling local tales, unearthing hidden gems, and sharing the stories of spectacular people. As a young city in transformation, the best is yet to come. We are Gold Coast.